sing, I leave this place, this place was bad for me, what's worse, what stings, I saw her in the garden with the snakes, she said, think fast, you only get one try, sleep tight, I wanna get sunshine, wake up, That makes sense to me. everybody doing on this fantastic fucking Thursday chat fuck is the alert box shot. going off for chat how are y'all doing on this fine fucking Thursday it's a goddamn react day today chat dub in the fucking chat for that uh, it's a bit abnormal that I'm doing a React Day on a Thursday. Normally, I do React Day on a Friday. But uh, I'm doing a VR day with Zussi and JoJo tomorrow. Uh, so I just flip-flopped the days, basically. Right? Because I still wanted to do a React Day today. Because uh, Sunday's React Day is going to be... Uh, half of the React stream is going to be reacting to my old TikToks. Uh, and the other half is going to be regular Reacts. Uh, and today, we're basically doing, like, two-thirds regular reacts, one-third scary reacts, right? Because I was gonna do scary reacts yesterday, but I ended up playing FNAF Security Breach the entire stream. So, uh, I'm making it up to you guys by doing a bit more scary reacts today. Anyways, um, the fuck was I gonna say? Yeah, no, that's the plan for today. Tomorrow's gonna be VR. Saturday's gonna be an MC, um, what's it called? An MC tournament that I'm in. But... Uh, before we get into the reacts chat, if you do have any of my old TikToks that you want me to react to on Sunday, exclamation point Discord, join the Discord, send them in the old Joe TikToks tab. Old TikToks meaning 2019 to 2021, right? Because that's old, right? It, don't send a video from fucking six months ago. Send it from two years ago or longer than that, right? Because some of you guys sent videos from like three months ago, and I was like, this isn't old. Like, two years, like, 2021, 2019, 2020, like, that's old, right? Uh, but I'm gonna close that Discord channel, uh, today, uh, at, like, 11 at night. So, if you have any videos you want to send there before then, make sure to send them there. Or, if you have any videos you want me to react to, games you want me to play in the video session tab, game session tab, those will always remain open. But, uh, I'm gonna close that old TikTok tab in, like, what, eight hours or some shit, and then I'm gonna compile all the videos, uh, for then. It's already closed. Is it really? It shouldn't be. Uh, somebody said, don't rap, kids. You'll get in trouble. What? Uh, EA boy and Harper for the sub. Not Joey for the sub. Kayla for the three. Banana for the sub. Fet for the three. React days are the best. Don't for the best streamer. W Joe. W stream. W life. Thank you, Gog, for the sub. I'm Kara for the sub. Sanders for the three. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Ellie and Cal for the sub. It's your boy for the three. I got my first D1 baseball offer. Fucking dub. Matt, uh, Kalka, Ian, uh, Big Humbo for the three. Big Humbo requests you roar like a tiger. No. Uh, and I hate how you refer to yourself in the third person, Big Humbo. Lena, Tyrone, Tone, Octa, Rin, and Mr. for the fucking sub. The diamond for the ten gifted. Stop in the chat for that. Thank you for the ten gifted subs. Back for the sub. EA for the sub. Rob for the four. <gasps> did you see Pair Force TikTok of you? No, I did not. If that's the video of me uh, singing a song in an AI voice, then yes, I have. Uh, and yes, that's the video that you're thinking of. Yeah, I I've seen it. It's just me. Si it's just an AI of me singing a song. It actually sounds pretty good, but I'm not going to react to it because I already reacted to another one. The Diamond 2206, though, think of the subs, place for the sub. Y'all want to see the fucking rundown of the reacts today? We got a bunch of fucking videos we're going to be reacting to. Number one, six shooters, girls versus one fake. I show speed situation is crazy. It's a little short, most critical video on it, but we'll just talk about it. The first day of school is ridiculous. Five easy steps out, run the police. The wild world of Roman jobs. 
the Disney adult problem. And then we get into the fucking scary reacts today. Don't hit send, SCP dollhouse, and the oldest view beneath the earth. What do you think of the I should speed situation? Dude, I, bro, bro. I literally say we're going to watch the I, I, I literally, I literally say that we're going to watch the I show speed fucking video. And then immediately after that, you fucking say, oh, what's your thoughts on it? Dude, I'll give my thoughts when we watch the fucking video. Okay. Yeet diss you in one of his songs? No way. No way Yeet dissed me. I don't think Yeet even knows who I am. I just said his music is mid. Uh, or at, Like, you know, he has a few good songs. Chat, what are y'all rating Yeet out of 10 as an artist? Like a 6. I would say he has songs that are like 8s, and then he has songs that are like 3s. Right? Like... All right, I'm going to give an example, right? I don't give a fuck if this gets copyright muted after stream because the Jubilee video is also going to get copyrighted. Also, um, chat. Well, I mean, uh, we, we already haven't been reacting to cut videos that much recently just because it kind of got old, like the button videos and everything. But I can no longer make cut videos into YouTube videos unless they get copyrighted, right? Every cut video that I posted like, a reaction to in the last, like, two years has gotten fucking copyright uh, claimed in the last, like, week, right? Like, uh, like 20 videos, right, in the last, like, week. Uh, you know, I don't annoy, I, I, I don't blame them, though, right? Because, like, I was kind of shocked. Like, Jubilee's always copyrighted my their shit, right? But I was surprised when Cut didn't copyright, and now they do. But, you know, I could still react on stream. I just can't fucking... I could post it as a YouTube video if it's really good. I still do that sometimes. Like the Joe's Hungry video that I posted, I made like no money off of it because it got copyrighted. But not by him, by some other shit. There's a few videos that I'll post knowing they'll get copyrighted and I just post them anyway because I think they're good videos and you guys would like watching them. Outside of that, my last like three videos got fucking age restricted. So that fucking sucks. So L YouTube for that one. I've made like no money on YouTube in the last two weeks. <laughs> Outside of like old, outside of like old views, I've made like no money on YouTube for the last two weeks. Why? Because they get age restricted. Age restricted means no one's gonna see it and it's not gonna make any money. And copyrighted means it'll just make no money, right? Yeah, you fell off. Shut the fuck up. Like, I'm, yo, I'm not rating that song anything above a four. But, like, he has... Spotify's not... Res Spotify's not responding. Well, I guess Spotify doesn't want me to use their fucking application. Sarome, one, two, three, uh... Fe uh, Flezzle, Rye, Jovany, and x -Gon for the sub. Robotics for the three. I don't remember if you remember me, but I told you about my grandma's cancer. She's now getting surgery tomorrow. Good. Uh, could you wish her good luck? Good luck. Everybody wish her good luck, chat. Super for the three. Why would it let me send TikToks in the old Discord, uh, or in the old TikToks tab in Discord? They might, Alicia might, or Al I don't know how to say their fucking name. I always say it wrong. They might have already closed it. Oh, they did. They did already close it. We might have enough. I was going to react to, like, a hundred of them, and I think you guys sent, like, a shitload. And Cloak's going to compile them for me. Actually, let me message him right now. I'm going to actually message Alicia. Did you close Discord tab for old TikToks? And at Cloak, are you going to compile them? Question mark? Uh, super for the three, uh, clouds trade for the sub, uh, XJ for the three. Today's my birthday. Hope you have a good stream. Thank you. Highland for the sub fly for the three, uh, fat thought for the five, uh, and happy birthday. Uh, XJ one, uh, forgot to mention I'm in England. Uh, so your streams are late. Sam for the sub, quiet Meyer for the five, 10 biddies. What's well, going to suck when I switch to my regular schedule on the 29th then, uh, fat for weekdays at least, because then you're going to be watching me rad late or you're not going to be able to watch the streams. So I'm sorry for the UK viewers for that, but I do have to pan towards my audience. So. 
the 29th of August, we will uh, transition back to our 4.30 weekday schedule. Aiden Blaze for the sub, proud for the four. Uh, she loves it, Jota, for the sub, surround for the sub. All right, let's get into the first video here today, chat. Lock in six shooters, girls versus one fake. Now, I don't want to say I'm going to be able to, to determine this video. However, or determine the fake in this video. However... My girlfriend works at Hooters, so I think I'm going to be able to tell. She loves for the sub. I worked at Hooters. I worked at Hooters. Oh, I worked at Hooters. I worked at Hooters. I worked at Hooters. I worked at Hooters. I can't tell. <laughs> I take everything back that I said. I have no idea. I have no idea. I, I, there's no, there's, there's no way for me to figure no way for me to figure this shit out. All right. Let's Hello. get down to business. <laughs> How old were you guys when you first applied? 21. 19. 20. 18. 19. <laughs> I was in college. I'm looking for body language. How bubbly are they? Hooter girls are typically pretty outgoing, outspoken. Did you guys all start a host? Okay, well, I'm going to assume she's a Hooters girl if she knows all, all this shit about, a, about who's Hooters. You know, who's at Hooters. I'm going to go her. She does not work at Hooters. As hostesses? No. I'm going to go the the girl with the red hair or, you know, because I always get, I'm going to give second choice. I'm going to go her, right? No, I started no. straight in as a waitress. Okay. Don't you have to be a hostess Perfect. first? Um, no, well, not all. yeah, not all the time. Yeah. yeah, it's like it just depends on your experience. I had hosting experience previously. Like my location, you have to be a hostess first. Like they don't hire you as a server unless you've worked at Hooters already. Fuck, never mind, dude. How do they know? I mean, like, w would this be somebody that's not a Hooters person if they're just talking about it? Like, who the hell would know this much about Hooters if they've never worked there? How did you guys like? apply there. There was like an open hire and I just like showed up and had an interview and got hired on the spot. I would just see it like constantly and then I was just like, okay, well, might as well try. Uh, Riley was- Bro, Hooters is the weirdest restaurant in the world though. Brooke will tell me stories about some of the customers that come in. There was this old man. Oh my God, I got to tell you guys this story. I got to tell you guys this story. There was an old man that came into her Hooters, pissed drunk, had to be 80 years old, right? This is what she told me. I didn't see this because I wasn't there. Right. She's at 80 years old. I wish she told, she should have told this story when she was on stream fucking three days ago. 80 years old. He, he is like just sitting at like one of the high top tables. Right. And there's like a puddle underneath of him. Right. And somebody's like, oh, did you spill something? And he's like, yeah, man. And so they like wipe it up. And then he, and then it, and then it's there again. Right. And, one of the managers just ends up saying, like, yeah, he's pissing himself, right? But we're, like, whatever. We're just going to wipe it up, right? Because the restaurant just for, they just didn't care. So he was peeing on the floor, right? Like, he was pissing himself. And it was, like, dripping, like, bad to the point where, like, it was accumulating on the floor, right? Not just, like, in his pants. And it happened, like, four times, and they didn't say anything. And then he got up and his pants were like sopping wet. Like she said, she said he was wearing like, li like lighter colored pants to where it was like the whole front side of him was like sopping wet. Right. Or there will be people that'll come in. Like there was this one guy that came in and um, like basically Hooters girls are kind of tasked with like kind of having a conversation with the customers, right? They're not like a regular waitress where they'll just take your order and leave. Like Hooters girls will talk to you, right? And so she said she had this group of guys that came in that were about like her and my age, like maybe a little bit older, like me and her are 21. They were probably like 24. And this guy was just talking to her, right? And he ends up like getting the check and he writes his number on the check. And he says like, if you something along the lines of like, if you take this, I'll tip well. She goes, I have a boyfriend, right? Obviously, because she's dating me, right? And he goes, You should have made that more obvious. And she goes, 
what did I do? And, she, and, and he's like, you were like talking to us. And she was like, that's my job. Like, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to have a conversation with you, right? He tips her zero dollars. Zero dollars. The He was going to tip her like 30% if she took his number. He tipped her zero because she said she had a boyfriend. Like, dog, if you're going into a Hooters to riz someone up and you're mad, like, she wasn't even flirting with them. They're just nice, right? That's their job. They're a fucking Hooters waitress. They're nice, right? They're not flirtatious. They're just like, oh, what do you guys do? Like, oh, are you from here? And, like, that's what she says to them, right? And they have a conversation with her. And this guy goes, you should have made that more obvious next time or some shit. And tips are zero. The, he leaves. He leaves. And her, his friends walk up to Brooke and go, we hate him. We're so sorry. And they give her, like, they only had, like, 10 bucks on them. They give her, like, $10 in cash, right? Because they didn't have cash because they only had card. And they were like, yeah, no, they were like, we hate him. And I was like, wow. Like, they they said, and this is what was so sad. They said that they were friends with him in high school, right? And, like, imagine a group of three friends. And two of them go to, like, a college. And one stays home. And then they meet back up, right? And that one friend is, like, a dickhead now, right? And they hate him, but they still hang out with him, like, once a year. And this was, like, their once-a-year hangout. And he was a dickhead. And, and tipped zero. Like, yo, if you're going to tip zero, like, you're a dick. But, like, tip zero and just walk out. Don't be like, you should make it more obvious that you have a boyfriend. Zero. Like, that's crazy. Martian for the sub, male for the sub, colorful for the three. Kellen for the three. You should work, uh, or you should do a video of Sam and Colby. Uh, no. Lion for the three. Uh, first time uh, I made your shape love your YouTube bit. Mew for the sub, Sanders for the three. Today's the day where I hit the two-year following mark. I remember the first stream I watched you playing Gas Station Sim. That was two years ago. Land for the sub, X2 for the sub, uh, Zach for the raid, Colorful for the sub, uh, Phil for the three. If you ever start losing an argument, physically attack the other person. They can't physically defend themselves. Their argument is invalid. Very true. Yeah, physical violence is how you win an argument. Brick for the five. One of my friends just got into a horrible car crash and in the hospital. Can you wish him good luck? I hope he's okay. She love for the sub, uh, Jonah for the subs, around for the sub. Uh, Sean for the sub, Mr. Penguin for the sub, Smack for the three. First time on street, love the videos. Thank you, Nico and Marsha for the sub. All right. Kind of suspicious. I don't know, it just sounded like she was just making it up. I really just wanted a uniform, so I kind of just was <laughs> like, let's see what happens. How do you make it obvious that you have a boyfriend? That's what I'm saying. Like, that's like, that, that'd be dickhead shit if Brooke just walked up to the table and said, before I take your guys' order, I just want to let you know, I am taken. <laughs> like it's not it's not a needed thing to say you just but you're either fucking waitress happens and <laughs> mom was because a friend worked there she was she acting like if you worked at hooters you couldn't have a boyfriend she literally was like a guy was acting like that just come with me and apply while i walk in and i was like okay and then they hired me the same day hannah looks like the ideal hooter girl which is kind of sus Another weird thing about Hooters is you don't submit an application. It's considered a modeling job. At least that's what I've been told. It's considered a modeling job, right? And the reason they have to do that is because they have to be able to turn you down if they think you're ugly, right? Because if it's a regular application and you turn down a higher qualified individual uh, because they're uglier, um, that's like workplace discrimination. Right, so what they do instead is you don't even submit an application. You just submit a, a, a photo of you or you just come in and they just look at you <laughs> and then and then they they hire you or not, right, depending on that, right? Uh, I've been in the hills for the subs and for the three. So have you thought of making a playlist? It's a really good idea if you ask me. Playlist of what, right? Let's be more specific in our in our in our things here. Have you ever thought of making a playlist of what? sister worked there and then she was like you should come work there and I was like okay how did you start working there I was on a date <laughs> yeah to Hooters I had braces and everything fuck goes on a date to Hooters I think I don't know what I was getting myself into and then I was like yeah this is it hmm. <laughs> yo imagine asking a girl out and saying yo where do you want to go let's go to Hooters let's go to Hooters yeah
I don't know. <laughs> Why is the word Hooters banned? I don't know, mods. Can you unban the word Hooters? And you can't can. Can you be uh, a not an L chatter and stop spamming? If you like this episode and you want to see more, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Now let's figure out who the mole is. They didn't really get any info. It was just she didn't really talk. Yeah, they're She's all better for other body people. language is just, just a little bit more reserved. She looks shy. That's why I'm like, I don't know if she works at Hooters because she looks like she's standing slouched. She looks like a Hooter girl, but she was just quiet the whole entire time. Damn. I didn't expect to be out that early, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it was probably the piercings being left in because piercings aren't allowed. Everyone say Hooters makes you happy. Piercings aren't allowed? At, I didn't even fucking know that. Like really chippy. <laughs> Go ahead, you start. Okay. There will be like guys that'll offer the Hooters girls money for like their dirty clothes. No lie. Like Brooke will tell me like there will be like old men that come in and be like, I'll give you $80 for those pants. <laughs> Yo, like, Evo said me, bro, that shit is nuts, and no, and I'll be like, yo, you that, like, what do you think he's doing with them, like, what is he doing with them, because, like, there will be girls that'll be like, yeah, sure, and because, like, a hundred bucks, they'll just buy another, like, they're profiting money, right, Sn probably smelling them, putting them on, maybe, I don't know, I don't know if they would fit in them, Specs for the 300 biddies. You should play Bigfoot again on stream. Uh, we already finished it. Fat thought for the five. Uh, if you could do anything without having consequences, what would it be? Probably rob a bank. <laughs> Just to see what it's like. Zen for the three. Might be for not being more clear. I was talking about a playlist of your music because it's really good. Oh, yeah, no, I already have playlists. I could make like a public one. Would you guys want me to make like a public music playlist that I would share with my chat? Chat for the sub. I could probably do that. <laughs> Hooters makes you happy. <laughs> okay, I don't think I've ever said that phrase, but <laughs> Hooters <laughs> makes you happy. <laughs> Hooters makes you happy. Hooters makes you happy. Hooters makes you happy. Okay. How about um, we all follow up with the next line of the? They should all sing the birthday song because every Hooters girl has to know the birthday song birthday song yeah oh okay there it is there it is somebody's not gonna know it hooters has a birthday song hooters has a birthday song not too oh, short not too long i i don't i don't think i know that one i know a different one. Oh. yeah our hooters had us a different one how did yours go oh yeah sing it sing it by all means sing the different hooters song uh-huh <laughs> i would I hear really this. remember mine <laughs> i know I, it's I, so not too short not too long Good thing is we sing for free. Yeah, it was a bad thing is we sing off key. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Like that that one. Sing it right and get your wishes. Sing it wrong and do the dishes. Yeah. Sound off, happy sound off birthday. Bring it all down. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> My favorite birthday song is the Applebee's one. Happy, happy birthday from Applebee's to you. We wish it was your birthday. Wait, no, we wish it was our birthday. So we go party too. Hey. <laughs> Ooh. Good. So what's the And they all look depressed. See, that's what's really sad about the Applebee's happy birthday song is when they come sing happy birthday to you, you can tell they don't want to do it. Right? Like like obviously nobody wants to sing a happy birthday song to like somebody they don't know, but like they really don't want to be there. What was your song though? Uh it didn't start like that. It was um so we would come out and we would be like, Okay, there's a birthday in the house mm -hmm. and then we would start off with <sighs> I'm trying to remember how we started off. <laughs> is um, that the birthday song? It's I said her is my second choice, bro. I feel like she it's definitely her. She does not work at Hooters, bro. She doesn't know the song. They sing that shit like every other day. Like, a, a, like chat, when you go to Applebee's, what are the odds that they have to sing the happy birthday song? Like a one in two. Every time you go to Applebee's, there's somebody. Like, last time I went to Applebee's, there was three birthdays. And you know what? They're all fucking lying. They're all fucking lying. You know how I know they're lying? Because who the fuck is going to Applebee's, right? For their fucking birthday, right? Actually, you know, I'm not going to diss it. If you want to go to Applebee's for your birthday, whatever, right? But, like, I'm not going to Applebee's. I'd rather just not go out, right? Who the fuck is going to Applebee's? They're capping. Who goes to Hooters for their birthday? Oh, you would be surprised. 
they'll like spank you and shit at Hooters. Hey, this has like a Hooters has a birthday song. Hooters has a birthday song. Not too short, not too long, not too short, not. Too, it is it's the same thing, I guess. Yeah. She didn't know the birthday song, and then she said she learned a different Evo one. Evo said they will. Evo's about to fly out to the U.S. But then no, didn't know the second one either, so that threw me off too. Um, okay, I have a question for you guys. What is one way to upsell? I would just sit in the booth with my customers, bring out whatever it was, whether Spank, it was yeah, with like a broom or some shit. They do a lot of weird stuff at Hooters. Like the, you know, desserts or like the calendar. I'd be like, you could buy this for me. Oh, they love that. Oh, they love that. <laughs> they were like, oh, for you, I'll buy it. I, I don't want it for you. myself, but no. yeah. For the desserts, I'd be like, oh, I really like this flavor. And they'll be like, oh, okay, get one. And I'll get one for myself. It's more fun. Yeah. I'd be like, this is my, uh, the key lime pie thing. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, if I get a chance, man, on my break. Like, I'll get some of this. <laughs> oh, you should get it too, though, because we could share you for real. Yeah. yeah. You mentioned key lime pie. What are the other desserts? Caramel fudge cheese. Oh, don't be. Mm, honestly, y'all, it's been a long time. For it's us. been so long. I also was just a hostess, so oh. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I don't. I. I. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she was kind of just like stumbling on her words, and I was like, hmm. She just doesn't remember, or she truly wasn't a Hooter girl and just like doesn't know what to say. What's your favorite food on there? I liked the buffalo chicken salad. Beer cheese pizza. Um, I like pickles. The, <laughs> oh, the fried yeah. pickles. Fried pickles. Yeah. Who like the fuck is going to Hooters and getting anything other than wings? If you're going to Hooters, the only thing you get is fucking chicken wings, and that's it, right? If you're going to Hooters and ordering a salad, you're a fucking psychopath. The Where? buffalo chicken quesadilla. Okay, favorite sauce. Ew! Daytona. Oh. <laughs> Daytona styled Daytona grilled wings. Those th those shits are fucking fire. Are they even good? Uh yeah, yeah. When the co when when the cooks aren't like hyped up on coke or like drunk, <laughs> and they're like doing their job. Yeah, yeah. No, those shits are good. Yeah, no. <laughs> When they're not cold, and they're like good wings, yeah. Somebody said what, dude? Half of the half of like the the low end restaurants that you go to, the cooks are like drunk, or like or high, or something, right? If you're going somewhere where there's like ten cooks, and all they're doing is like frying stuff, oh, they're fucking blasted. Uh, they're blasted back there, right? A barely conscious. <laughs> How do you know? Because I've seen them. I've been to different restaurants, dude. I know people that are cooks at different restaurants. They're fucking fried. Dude, one of my friends works at a restaurant. I know he's high at the fucking I know he's high. He's high all day, every day. He's fucking high while he's cooking. He doesn't work at Hooters, though. Because you sell them the meth. Yeah, I don't think you would be able to cook and be on meth at the same time. I was thinking, Why is she like, I have this. The back. In the bag. Like, there's no way anyone's going to vote me out. So I don't know. <laughs> if you think the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. The only other person it would be is her. I think those three definitely work. She definitely works at Hooters. So you're working at Hooters while you're in college, right? Yeah. When I was there, that's what it was. There. I didn't tell my parents or anything, too, because I don't know how they feel about it. But Were you paying for college, too? Or I, like... I, yeah, I mean, I, I went when I was in undergrad. My whole family knew. I didn't care at all. Like, I... I worked at Taco Bell, and two of them, I can confirm, were always high. You ever see the people that are, like, fucking geeking off perks and shit at, like, a McDonald's? That, like, worries me, right? Number one, that, like, they're going through that. Number two, like, you're on Percocets while you're making food. Like, that's dangerous, I feel, right? Oh, not only for them, but for the person that's getting the food. Like, what if something's wrong with it? The boys for the five. I've been dealing with a lot of stuff recently. My girlfriend's pregnant and we are both 17. If it's a boy, we're naming him Joe. If it's a girl, we're going to name her Brooke. Really? Are you actually going to name them Joe or Brooke? And Du for the five. I mean, congrats if, if you're being serious. I feel like you're fucking with me.
Uh, Jovany for the sub. Uh, Ale for the three. I love you. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Uh, and Du Bois, bro. Congrats. Uh, Fierce for the five. It's my birthday. I've been having problems with school last year. Any suggestions for this year? Don't procrastinate. Write out your shit in a schedule. Uh, I'm actually posting a TikTok today of school advice for like work, uh, schoolwork anxiety. Rambo for the sub. Josh Eam for the sub. Crack for the three. Don't want to bring down the mood. My life is fucking shit. I don't have friends and I do the same shit every day. I feel worthless. How do I feel happy again? Do new shit. Experience new things. Meet new people, right? Like, I understand that sucks, like, what you're going through. But, like, are you putting yourself out there? Are you trying to do new things? Are you joining clubs? Are you going on adventures? Are you doing new things? Are you going to the gym? Are you going – are you are you trying to learn new hobbies? Are you trying to learn a language? Are you trying to learn new skills? Like, if you're sitting there and letting yourself kind of envelop this sadness, right, um, it's obviously going to get worse. Right. And I, I don't want to say, like, that is a problem in the United States of people just going through the same schedule every day. Uh, but it is, right? A lot of Americans live in the same town for their entire life and do the same thing every day until they die. Uh, and it's sad, right? But you as a human can only get out of that if you make yourself get out of it. Evo said acid. Yeah, don't do acid. Uh, fresh mango and psyche and your boy for the sub. Uh, but I mean, yeah, like, you're not bringing down the mood, dude. Carmen Life for the sub, for the three. I work at a McDonald's sometimes, uh, and somebody had a fist fight with the manager in the kitchen, and a kid hit my manager with a bike on his head. What the fuck? McDonald's is the place where you see the worst of society. I don't know about the worst of society, but yeah. I was trying to make money. But I, was... I mean, like, I don't know. Outside of that, dude, you're going to have to put yourself out there. You're going to find friends. It just takes time. I used to have, like, no friends for a while, right? It takes time to get friends. It takes time to fucking... Figure out what do you want to do with your life and shit. Yo, chat, is the hairline receding? No lie. Like, it's really not, it's really not bad. It's not bad. Stop. Bro, chat, there's no way. You're just saying yes. You're just saying yes. Like, is it actually receding now? Fierce for the three. Thank you. I needed that. Hammy for the three. Uh, if I become a cook at Hooters, do I get to wear the short shorts and Hooters shirt? No. Uh, the cooks just wear cook outfits. It's fine. <laughs> Hooters for me was more like a sorority, honestly. Like, I love all the girls that work there. Mm -hmm. I still keep in touch with them. Yeah. Oh, I've met a lot of my best friends there, actually. Like, I'm still really close with yeah. a lot of the Hooters girls. Okay, what is the blue moon served with? Orange. What about the daiquiri? Oh. I was never a server though. Well, look, I was a food runner. Slim for the five gifted. Thank you for the five gifted. Slim Kraken and Gimmicky for the sub. Thank them if you got a sub. Thank you for the five gifted. <laughs> Your hairline isn't receding. You just got low eyebrows. Yeah, if my eyebrows were up here. Hold up. Dude, my forehead's so big though. Cherry? Yes. I'm okay. not gonna get that. I would like, I would like know the ones that like my mom's got before, but like, that's Wait, what I was gonna say. That your mom's got before yeah. there? My mom's are lesbian, they love Hooters. <laughs> Wait, but I thought your parents didn't know. Yeah, they don't. No, not while I'm there. No, 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 no. I mean like before. Like uh, I've gone to Hooters with them. They never come. Nobody's Wait, but they come love out Hooters, to Virginia with me. But they wouldn't. No, they wouldn't want let me you do working. That. There? Wait, were you? No, my parents are strict about me, but not them. You know what I'm saying? Like I know because, because they're like, this is gonna sound bad, but like they're sexualizing them, so I don't think they want me to be sexualized. I don't know, I feel like your story is a little suspicious. <laughs> I don't yeah. think that's suspicious at all. And I and understand, that, like, but I just, yeah. you look the part. You're cute, you're talkative, like, thank bubbly, you. Yeah, but yeah. I think all of us were kind of ganging up on Hannah because we were just a little bit suspicious. Part of me really wanted to believe that she was a Hooter girl, she was selling it, but then there were just some things where I was like, mm, I don't think so. Okay, how do you guys say, how do you greet a guest when you come into Hooters? Okay, I'll just be like, Hi, welcome to Hooters. How's it going, guys? Hi, welcome to Hooters. <laughs> yeah, I guess the same thing, too. It's, hi, welcome to Hooters. Yeah, so I do. You guys all do this. I'd be like, hi, welcome to Hooters. You have to have Why us. Why do they always change their voice? Sweet customer service voice. Oh, yeah. You fake it. But yeah, all it's, the way. 
If, I mean, you're entertaining. I think we're actually hired as entertainers. We are hired yeah. as entertainers yeah. because you're not really allowed to like hire on a server and then have requirements about X, Y, Z. But as an entertainer, you're allowed to have those requirements. Did you I said that shit. Pictures with people and stuff like that. All the time. Yeah, for all sure. the time. For all sure. the little kids. All the birthdays. I know. Yeah, I know the little like yeah. the little boys are always in there with their dads. Yeah. <laughs> I'd prefer that though than like the creepy old guys. Oh, I'm like, yeah, give way. me the teens. All like the whatever. Way. Okay. Really quick, what are the nail regulations and what type of nails can you get? Short, and then they could either be nude color no, or French. No, only, only say one type oh, of style. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. okay. Well, I'll say it. I guess the next option is a shade of pink. Yes, a shade of but pink. But it cannot be a hot pink. It has to be a like neutral. Pink. Pink. Oh, I don't care. Oh. <laughs> what do you guys all do now? So I'm in sales. I'm a sales representative, and I also teach kids um, how to play chess. Oh, cute. Very I random duo of jobs. I work in the cannabis industry, slash bartender, slash... Yerp! 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 Promo modeling. I'm a physical... Yerp! Physical therapist. I have my... What does she mean she works in the cannabis industry? Is that is that selling... Is that selling weed? Does that mean... Oh, you're such a dude. What do you mean, oh, you're such a dude? Doctorate degree, no big deal. Oh, <laughs> Hooter should. girls are smart, too. Yeah, really cool. <laughs> yeah Hooter girls are smart. Um, Somebody would... said W hash. Who the fuck calls weed hash? It's a four now. Nice. I'm like, oh, I know, I'm trying to I'm like, I, I almost believe you. <laughs> I know. Imagine you're a drug dealer and you just say, yeah, I work in the cannabis industry. <laughs> yeah, I just, I dabble in the cannabis. Oh, really? What's, what's your place of work? I'm self-employed. I'm, I'm self-employed. Oh, you're, because I'm sorry, I'm sorry you're the think. most suspicious. Like, yeah. I cannot. It's because, of the, it's because of the parents thing, right? I just wonder what lie did you tell your parents that you were doing for work? Like, I only worked there for three months. And oh. I only worked there during the weekends. Yeah. Good Why'd job. you quit? They trust me. Because um, I needed to make more money and they weren't bumping me up to server. Yeah, Why didn't they so. bump you up to server? I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Maybe my height, because I'm taller than me. I think. Yeah. I feel like yeah. those people are the I was. So if you were tall, it was better because you would get more like yeah. front cover, like promo, Top like stuff. The... I like almost want to believe. Bro, they've gotten out like almost everyone. Who the fuck are they gonna vote out now? Are they gonna vote out another person? Uh... Your story just didn't match yeah. up. I'm sorry. <laughs> you think the mole is still in the box? I honestly think it could still be her. And you'd like to continue playing the game. Please raise your hand. That means the game is over. Hold up. What are the odds? Do you think they won? No. I think she's the one that doesn't work at Hooters. It was her or the first girl. It was her or the first girl. There's no doubt about it. I think these two guaranteed work there. If they really lost after voting that many people out, that'll be fucking shocking. Uh, Maddie for the sub broken for the three. Robotics for the three. Uh, Joe, you look awesome. I look up to you every day. Don't worry about the other people think because you're the only one. Uh, oh, because you are only you and nobody can tell you something different. I love watching your streams. It really makes my day. Thank you for the nice message. Flair for the three. Uh, love of the streams. Uh, I've tried to tell Case that you want to collab, but he didn't see my bits. That's fine. Uh, the boy, dude, he has like fucking 16,000 viewers. He's probably not going to see like any of the donos. The boys for the five. When should I ask to marry her? Even though we are young, I really want to marry her. She's the one, but I feel like the baby might delay the marriage. Also, happy birthday, Joe. It's not my birthday. Um, I mean, dude, whenever it's right to get married, you don't have to rush marriage, though, right? Like, I don't want to say that you shouldn't get married because you obviously can, right? I mean, like, I plan on getting married one day, but I'm saying marriage is not something that you have to rush, right? Um... Just because getting married has a lot of things that coincide with it outside of, like, just the relationship thing, right? Like, the relationship's not going to change marriage or not, right? You're the same people. But I'm saying, like, governmental things. I mean, like, yeah, there's tax benefits and stuff, but it's also, like, I don't know. I mean, it's up to you. I would say you're you're pretty young to get married, but uh, it's your fucking life. I, if, if you're in love with her, you're having a kid with her, dude. I mean, you want to get married, you, you that's fine, you know?
Uh, but if you're sitting there and you're like, maybe I want to save up a little money for a better ring or something like that, you could do that as well, right? Because I, I don't want to say weddings are expensive, but weddings are fucking expensive. Uh, <laughs> a ring alone will cost uh, tens of thousands of dollars, right? Uh, then you have the bachelor and bachelorette party. Then you have the fucking wedding day. Then you have the honeymoon. Like, dude, getting married alone could cost upwards of $100,000, right? Like, it's somebody said mods run a poll. Poll on what? Poll on what? Oh, who is the fucking imposter? Uh, Christian for the three. I'm an incoming D1 uh, mid-distance runner, and I'm trying to build up my upper body. Any advice? I mean, you got to go to the gym, weightlifting, and then eating a lot of protein. Dieting is most of it. Uh, today's my first stream. Been watching you for a while. Love your videos. Thank you. Slip Kraken for the five gifteds again. You Slay Clone for the three. Maddie for the sub. Broken for the three. Ugh. Uh, do you remember me? I don't know. Glitch for the three. I paid $1,000 for my wedding. Max for the sub. Crack for the three. Where did you get married? I go only to the gym, but I can't do anything else because of my social anxiety. But By the way, I love your streams. Well, I'm saying slowly breaking out of that is what you're going to need to do if you're going to want to make more friends and you're going to want to do more things every day, right? If you're saying your issue is I don't have a lot of friends and I do the same thing every day. Yes, you have social anxiety, but the only way to fix that issue is to conquer the social anxiety first, right? At least minimally. Um, I'm not saying you have to go to like a concert or do something extremely extroverted, but like you could do stuff that's like intro. Like I have a lot of introvert friends, right? They won't go out to me with like at a bar, but I'll play Magic the Gathering with them. Uh, and we'll fucking hang out and watch movies and watch anime and shit. Like you can find people that have similar interests to you that are also introverted, right? All right. Somebody redeem flex. Lock in here, chat. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted out the mole and you all win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. Three, two. I think they win. I changed my mind. One. Oh my god! <laughs> I swear to God, if they got out the girl first, no, girl. I felt it. I Who felt was it? it? I felt Me it. Too. I was like, yeah. okay, this is totally like a Hooter. Yeah, like Hooter thing. Vibe. Yeah, Hooter it was vibe. totally a Hooter vibe. Yeah. <laughs> On the count of three. No, if they voted her out first, I've never seen them get the the mole out first. Can the mole please step forward? I'll kind of be three, shocked if it was her. Two. One. Yo! I first yo she studied the fuck out of that shit I am never putting that much effort for a fucking jubilee show pass on that one bud she knew she knew what colored fucking shorts you could wear she knew their menu she knew the birthday song who the fuck would know that if they didn't work at Hooters oh no way Thank I God. Knew it. <laughs> you get money if you win. Yeah, like fucking five hundred dollars. No, but. you had us. I, you had. Yeah, me. Good. You, were, you were close though. Yeah, you, you were, were selling close. it. You were selling it. I watched like a lot of the Day in the Life YouTube videos of the Hooter girls. So I worked with um, an ex Hooters employee. She made me like a whole like study document. Um, we went over that. We practiced the birthday song. We were sitting there clapping, singing to it. I you worked really I work was a sushi <laughs> yeah, yeah, You I was really the the Hooters thing. My moms Hooters. would not be okay with that. Okay. Like, they definitely would not. My parents go, but they don't. They would not. They did not like me. Yeah. So. When she said that and you guys were suspicious, I'm like, oh, they like, love, they love the Hooters, yeah. but they don't love your <laughs> they daughter take my little brother. All right, I'm done there. Yeah, let's move on. Uh, crack for the three. I uh, already read that. Uh, and broken for the three. Can you explain why most of my relationship with people only last five years? I don't know you. I don't know the people you're in a relationship with. I don't know if you're talking intimately or friendship-wise. I can't really tell you, man. The diamond for the 10 gifteds. Thank you for the 10 gifteds. The diamond 2206. Thank them if you got us up. Thank you for the fucking 10 gifteds. I think you gave 10 gifteds earlier as well. Thank you for the 20 gifteds total today. <gasps> From the diamond 2206. I appreciate the fucking subs there, brother. 
I know I'm the millionth person talking about this situation, but how can I help myself? I'm an addict, and my drug of choice is... Hey, where'd he put the chief, you Bridget? Silliness. Goofy stories are the spaghetti and I'm the meatball. I, I can't resist. So, many of you have probably already seen the biggest YouTube live streamer, I Show Speed just had a bit of a whoops-a-daisy moment on stream. He was playing five- 20% video, 80% chatting. Isn't that what you want out of a React streamer? Would you rather me sit here dead silent and eat a burrito in the corner? Just, just very slowly, just eat a burrito, and every, like, five minutes just go, uh -huh, well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. The FNAF game you played yesterday was so fire. I'm going to continue it next Wednesday. It was fire. Dead for the sub. It's at Freddy's and Chica jump scared him and his penis fell out of his shorts. Now you might be asking yourself, how is this possible? You know what? how I saw this fucking video? One of my mods in the mod discord sent a video of I show speed and said like, bro, what? And I was like, oh, maybe it's just a clip of him raging. KD for the three. Love the streams. You helped me through a lot. And Du Bois for the three. She said she would be happy if I got her a ring pop. And I'll propose to her in like a year or so. Uh, and sorry, happy birthday early. Off topic, would, would you stream your wedding online? I don't know. I mean, I don't plan on... Dude, I'm 21. I don't know. Like, I... Uh, realistically, with mine and Brooke's life, I don't... I would not... I would not propose to... I would not... I would not propose to Brooke until I was, like, at least 26, right? And I'm 21 right now. So, like, five years from now, I'd propose. I don't even know if I'm going to be doing social media in five years, right? Unbrilliant user for the sub. It's Jake for the seven. Uncle Bar, I want to say I appreciate your streams. You really carried my summer. Thank you. And I'm glad I could uh, help your summer. Foxman for the five. Looking forward uh, to it. First stream I watched you playing was Resident Evil. Definitely my favorite streamer on here. Foxman2L. W Foxman. You liked my Resident Evil stream? Dude, that had, like, one of the worst view counts I've had in a while. It was a W fucking game, though. What kind of paranormal activity took place here? Did Chica crawl out of the screen and pull his dick out for him on camera? Like, how did this go wrong? What a weird response to fear. To expose yourself after you get frightened. I know Five Nights at Freddy- but He didn't mean to expose himself. He was making a joke that he would, like, fuck Chica, right? And so he was, like, humping the camera- and then, and then it fell out of his pants. His fandom can get a little wild, but I mean, this is next level. So what exactly- I'm just thinking, why did he wear boxers? <laughs> like, bro, I'm not- I'm wearing pants, right? Exactly happened. Well, I show speed was playing a Five Nights at Freddy's game and- Chica gave him a spook, said He Boo. wore the boxer? Bro, like, I got those boxers. I wear them to bed. He also didn't have... He had the slit open, right? Because when you wear boxers, they have the fucking button in the middle that you can, like, button, button it so it won't fall out. <laughs> and he had it unbuttoned. Ooh. And in response to the jump scare, Speed stood up saying that he wanted to fuck Chica and he was thrusting at the camera. One thing led to another and then bang, penis. So, uh, as you can imagine, this was a pretty embarrassing moment that, of course, blew up online. Did he just end stream afterwards? Or like, I show meat, am I right? This situation could lead to an extended vacation from YouTube streaming because nudity is against their rules, but... There is a chance that they... I know he deleted the VOD. I, I'm pretty sure he's not getting banned because it's accidental nudity, right? Like, I mean, people have done the same... Like, it was it was a stupid clip on how it happened. But, like, there's Twitch streamers that, like, have accidentally flashed the camera. Didn't Pokimane do that, like, a year ago or some shit? Or, like, some other fucking... Maybe Amaranth? Or there's, like, another streamer that, like, you accidentally just, like... That whatever their clothes they're wearing, it's just like slides over or some shit. He's posted a response on TikTok. Five head and K Vander for the sub Fox Man for the five. Uh you're just funny. I don't know. Uh I have known you on TikTok forever, but the first time watching your Twitch was the was that game and I stuck around since. Duh. 
Dude, I appreciate you sticking around. You don't enforce it super strict here. Pokemon so did that. Don't quote me on that. Do not quote me on that. I don't know. I was just listing streamers. I was just listing streamers. I don't know. I was saying I know there's been many other streamers because accidental nudity is on. I don't know about YouTube. On Twitch, accidental nudity is technically a warning, right? Like, it, not you going like this and just flashing the fucking camera, right? I'm talking like you're walking on stream or you're doing some dumb shit and then, like, something happens. I think it was a Linity. I don't know, right? But I know there's a lot of streamers that have accidentally flashed the camera. Since it was an accident. They have been somewhat loosey-goosey on these rules in the past. Like, even just a month ago, there was a channel that blew up. Thanks yeah, the fucking Nair video. He showed his, he spread his asshole on fucking camera. Mr. Doobie dying for the five. Speed situations is canon of happens to the best of us. <laughs> canon event happens to the best of us. Fire for the sub. Yeah, dude, the fucking Nair video. It was educational. Bro, you're educational. The Nair video. The Nair video was educational. Oh, I'm thinking about buying Nair. Let me, let me watch a Nair review video of some guy lathering his ass hair in Nair and then fucking spreading his ass cheeks. You can just test it on your arm. Bagel for the sub. Thanks to a viral video. It was video. a visual guide. It was a visual. It was a tutorial. It was a tutorial on how to, how to nair your asshole. So they made of a guy nairing his butthole. Just full asshole on display, no censorship, nothing like that. It's just his brown balloon nut. Bro, the funniest video. Oh my god, no, dude, my fa I always say this, my favorite TikTok. He goes, he's like, hey dad, come watch this video. And it's like, so this is what my butthole looks like. And the dad goes, ugh. And you could see it in the fucking camera. Not getting nared. And it was totally fine, still on the platform. And that's thanks to their educational content override policy where you can have things like a chocolate starfish getting de-haired without censorship. And it's okay because there's educational context around it. Though in this case, with the I show speed cock situation, I don't exactly know what argument you'd make for it being educational unless it's like a... This is educational because it demonstrates how not to react to a jump scare, I guess. I don't know. But since it's accidental... Jump scare gone wrong. They might have some flexibility on not, like, banning him for it out. I don't think he's going to get banned. Because it is... Act he didn't mean to fucking do that, right? Right. I, I really... You, we're going to have to wait and see what happens with it. I but will I say he has had, like, a massive stroke of bad luck of, like, just doing dumb shit on streams. Whether it's, like, leaking famous people's numbers or, like, lighting a firework off in his fucking bedroom, accidentally flashing the camera, all this other shit. I, I don't think this is going to end up with, like, the termination. Yeah, the Pikachu. The, was that for the 4th of July or, or New Year's? When did he do the Pikachu firework? ...of his account or anything. did he promote a scam, too? Yeah, but that's, like, a canon event for every YouTuber. Promoting a scam, you know, that's like a canon event. Promoting promoting some sort of crypto scam. But he may get some the kind, 4th of July. kind of community guideline strike, which would prevent him from streaming for a certain When's period. When's yours? I haven't promoted a crypto scam yet, you know? Chat, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do a pump and dump on um What's like a what's like a shitty crypto that I could like push to you guys? Maybe maybe Doge maybe Doge Musk coin. Doge Musk coin, Musk Daddy coin, <laughs> at Elon coin, something like that. Squid coin, the squid coin. Yo, I don't want to say, I don't want to say you're an idiot if you invested into squid coin, but who the fuck was like, yeah, let me invest into a fucking cryptocurrency based off a show. Like what? NFTs? I never promoted NFTs. I had my own cryptocurrency that I never promoted, and I made money off of it. They they gave me the crypto. I already explained this to you guys. This was like two years ago. They gave me a cryptocurrency, and they were like, you can promo this to your fans, and there's like weekly rewards. And like a week into having the coin, I realized I was making money off of it without ever promoing it. And so I was like, fuck this. Like, I'm not going to shill this to my audience. I'm just going to let the weekly rewards come in. 
And then they ended up shutting my coin down like four months later because I was making money and I wasn't giving them anything. <laughs> but I'm like, dude, like you're tasking me with this fucking coin that you're like, you want me to promo. I was like, I didn't sign any contract. You just gave me a fucking coin, right? I think that company shut down too. It's Tensor for the three. Hey, Joe, you're hella funny. I love watching you. Thank you. Of time. And to think this whole situation could have been avoided if he just... How much did you make? Nothing. Because I... <laughs> no, literally nothing. Because when I pulled out... Dude, keep in mind, two years ago is when I had this coin. When did Bitcoin peak? Two years ago. <laughs> so, all of the money I pulled out tanked by like 80%. And I never pulled out. I just... I have like, I, I, it's just sitting there and it's like, I'm like waiting for it to go back up. It's never going to go back up. Malu for the sub. I'm down like 70% on my crypto portfolio. War underwear. This isn't a segue into an ad or anything like that. I was just thinking to myself, when was the last time I wore pants without underwear? And it's been so long. Dude, I'm what, yo, I have, I don't think I've ever worn pants without underwear, but like, dude, I've never even worn pants with boxers. I don't know how guys do that. Wear pants with, with like, like underwear or boxer briefs. Yeah, like it's supportive, right? But like, dude, just boxers and fucking like basketball shorts. Like, no. Like that's basically free balling. 29 years old now, so I've started to get those old man nuts that hang real low and just bounce around chaotically. <laughs> so if they're not supported by underpants, th those bastards will just be swinging around like they're playing a game of tetherball with each other. My testicles will just be going hog wild down there and it doesn't feel great. So I, I couldn't even imagine myself like jumping around and being active without undergarments on. I would injure myself very quickly. Now, of course, when it comes to on... Oh, he just said his nuts were playing tetherball. Charlie does not have a filter. Yeah. Stream wiener moments. The great dark side fill always comes up because DSP has one of the most iconic stream clips. I'm not a guy, but if I was him, I would still wear underwear. Why wasn't he wearing underwear? He was only wearing underwear. He was just wearing boxers of all time where he didn't realize he was live and then started masturbating what wait i'd feel always comes up because in your moments the great dark side feel always comes up because dsp has one of the most iconic stream clips of all time where he didn't realize he was live and then started masturbating when was this who is this guy but you couldn't see any shaft or anything. The, the schlong was still left to the imagination. He did finish. He, like, he tilts his head back in ecstasy as he finishes, but you never saw anything. In this case, he actually does just have his entire cock out on screen for a moment. He flashed the entire screen. So it's definitely more extreme than the Dark Side Phil event. And the whole thing has obviously led to a lot of discussion around, like, what's going to happen next. Because clearly this is a violation of rules, but it also appears like it was an accident. So how harsh is the punishment going to be? And I guess we're just going to have to wait and see there. It does seem accidental. You might get, like, a temporary ban from live. But, like, I really don't think they would, like, strike his account. I think he wanted to have, like, an over-the-top overreaction to jump scares that a lot of streamers and YouTubers do. And he just went too far with it, leading to just this disastrous wardrobe malfunction moment. Now, a lot of people... What, game, what FNAF was he playing? Also started saying that, you know, maybe this was a calculated plan, and he's about to announce his signing with Kick now that he can't stream on YouTube, assuming he does get uh, a strike Security for breach? It was the one that I was playing? Really? No way it was security breach. Oh, it might have been because it was like the it was like the Rockstar Chica. Yeah, because that's the only game. Is that the only game that has Rockstar Chica? I'm not up to my FNAF lore, so I don't know. For this, oh the and DLC, Jack for the three on TikTok. Speed said he's going to quit YouTube and he had a strike on the stream. Child for the five, love your streams. I always used to watch your YouTube. Uh, thank you for the 500 biddies, bro. Um, 
and I don't think he'll quit. Even if he said he'll quit YouTube, like how many how many streamers have said they're gonna quit YouTube and then came back in like a week? We'll be back. And I have to I have to say that's a pretty interesting theory because I I don't think this was a premeditated. Like three? No, like every YouTuber, bro. If you if you every YouTuber at one point says I'm gonna quit, and then they don't quit. Like every YouTuber. Scheme. He didn't pull his cock out and start dangling it in front you? of you. I I don't know if I said I I said I've thought about quitting, but like I would never want to yet. Webcam like he was giving a puppet show or anything like that. It does seem like it was unintentional, the result of overreacting to a jump scare. I I don't see this as like a you know maybe a grand departure from YouTube streaming where he's like, you know what? It's time I ride off into the sunset. I'm kind of tired of streaming. I'm going to retire the jersey number here. We're done. But I want to go out with a triumphant bang, an exit no one will see coming. Like, I don't think he came in here to try and subvert viewers' expectations like it was Game of Thrones Season 8 here with a fucking penis jump scare. Like, I don't think this was a plan. If it was, this could lead to, like, huge trouble I mean, for I got a Twitch warning when I accidentally showed Tyron Woodley's ass. But, like, that wasn't me. That was, like, a YouTube video of somebody else. For him, actually, I would imagine. He knows his audience skews on the much younger side of things. A lot of the iShow Speed audience is young and a lot of those kids were probably watching this stream especially considering it's oh my five god imagine they're watching it in their family living room oh it's at freddy's which is predominantly a kid's property that they really resonate with so i don't think the idea would have crossed his mind like good content would be exposing myself in front of all of these viewers many of which are minors yeah i don't think like if anybody's trying to say like he's attempting to do this purposefully that's i don't see how he would have ever purposefully done that like i highly doubt that was a thought that crossed yeah. his mind now of course the fact that it still happened is awful but i just really don't think it was a plan of course the overreaction to the jump scare is a plan like Isn't that speed a minor no speeds uh 18 or 19 now that was definitely something he decided he was going to do with like going crazy about the jump scare but everything that happened after that i i don't think was some kind of calculated plot so yeah, I just wanted to talk about this. That's that's really about it. See ya. Well, well, well. It's already August. It oh, already fucking transitioned to the next video. What the fuck? Uh, I have Verzi for the sub load for the three. Uh, I drew pee balls. It tasted odd. What? Drew pee balls. Hey, Jack, for the five. I'm one of the best sax players in New Jersey. I was hoping for advice with imposter syndrome. What do you mean? What do you mean by sax players? Like the saxophone? Um, I mean, advice, like, you're saying imposter syndrome in the sense of, like, you're feeling anxious, right? I had to look up what imposter syndrome was to know. People feeling like a fraud or a phony and doubting their abilities. Why would you doubt yourself, dude? Um, uh, Jag up for the three. I mean, you could always get better at what you're doing, but if you're good, you're good. Don't shit on your own capabilities. This is Davis for the sub child for the three. Or for the five. Uh, all right. Baby King for the sub. First day of school is ridiculous. Well, well, well. It's already August. It's no secret that the year has been flying by quicker than a- Yo, fucking summer blew the fuck by. Summer flew the fuck by 100%, bro. It's already mid-August. Like, I'm about to start school in, like, two weeks. Some of y'all are already back in school. Fuck that. Fighter jet. Fall is rapidly approaching, meaning that football season is back. Halloween and Thanksgiving are right around the corner. Hoodie season is back. And Pumpkin Spice will soon be remixed more times than that beatbox song. By far the most daunting and deplorable thing about fall is school starting back up. It's only a few weeks until I'm subjected to the same torment myself. Summer vacation is over, and soon students all over the world will be sent off quicker than Flat Stanley. So today... We'll be discussing the various ordeals and complications that come with the first day of school. Comment down below the worst part about going back to school or the first day of school and like and subscribe if you're new. First, we gotta talk about waking up. Now, if you watch this video, then you already know about how arduous it is to try and sleep the night before the first day. After spending the entire summer staying up later than a fucking owl, it's damn near impossible for I me to- I feel like the most annoying thing isn't the day before, it's like the, the last week of summer. All you do is think about how it's the last week of summer.
like every day. You can't enjoy it, right? Like the last week of summer, you're just like in your bag, right? You're just sitting there. Like, like imagine listening to like X, right? Like sad, right? Just fucking, you're, you're just sitting there. Maybe even the last two weeks, bro. You're just like, damn, bro. I got like six days left and you just do nothing, right? Because you're just moping that it's the last day, the last week of summer. Baby, for the sub lethal for the five. I don't make it to the lives usually. Uh, watch the VODs, but any who hope you have a good stream. Thank you, Mason, for the three. I'm going to get you my best friend. I'm going to marry my love of my life. Dub. To get myself back on track like a derailed train. It's few things in life that hurt as badly as setting that alarm to wake you up in the morning, bro. And then my body decides it wants to start fighting sleep like Iron Fist or something. And then five minutes before my alarm goes off, my body shuts down like an old Dell computer, bro. It dead ass feels like my body's trolling me. And I don't know about y'all, but when it's actually time for me to get up on the first day, I just stare at my wall for like five minutes like I'm under a trance. Something that has been deemed. Yeah. Shit almost gave me a seizure. That's the great stare. This is when niggas build up the mental, physical, and social energy to be able to do this Monday through Friday for the next nine months. And I don't know what type of phones y'all got, but I think I speak for every Apple user when I say that iPhone alarms could deadass wake Sleeping Beauty from her slumber. Whoever invented that vexatious alarm must- uh, I feel like iPhone alarms also have gotten to the point where like, whatever alarm you have, whenever you hear it, it's like, oh, it ruins your mood, right? Like say somebody has a timer and then this shit goes off. Hold up. What the fuck? Like that. Like it's awful. Ah, uh, but what was I going to say? Oh, no, the first week of school, like, ah. Uh, I mean, I dread going back to class, right? I mean, like, high school's different because you got to get up even earlier. But, like, college, like, I still have to get up decently early, but I don't have to be at school at, like, 8 a.m. Uh, unless I have an 8 a.m. class, which I had last semester, but this semester I don't. But, I mean, like, when I start up class, I'm going to be dreading it. But the first week of school's easy, right? The first week of school, you don't really do anything. You might have, like, one piece of work. And, like, that's it. Most of the first week of school is, like, the description of the class. Kind of getting into the groove of, like, okay, this is what we're going to be doing this year. Right? For high school. For college, it's a bit quicker in that, like, your first two days of your college class are learning what you're going to do. And then after that, it's just immediately you're going, right? Maybe the first day. Like, if I have, like, a Tuesday-Thursday class, the first day of class is syllabus. Second day of class, we're already doing work, right? And there's already due dates, right? It's, like, more on top of your shit, which is annoying. John for the sub, Mason for the three have been working overtime to make sure they created the most ear-splitting sound of all time. But anyway. High school's so easy, people tripping about how hard it is. I think people trip about how hard high school is. Number one, because they might be taking classes that are like AP that they shouldn't be taking, but mainly because most high schoolers don't know how to fucking schedule shit, uh, including myself when I was in high school, right? Uh, until like my junior, senior year, maybe, like the reason people get stressed out and say high school's hard is because they don't do any work for fucking three weeks, and then they have like four due dates and three tests. And they haven't done anything for either of them or any of them. And then it just fucking stresses them out. It's the same thing with college. College is worse, though. If you're a procrastinator, you're going to be fucking screwed in college, right? You got to get out of that. You got to start scheduling your shit, right? Because in college, you're going to get a due date. Like, the first day of class, they're going to tell you when everything is fucking due. They give you a syllabus with every single due date. Every single class discussion, every single thing you're going to do, every single homework, every single fucking test, quiz, whatever, right? And, like, some people will just let it run into the last day, and then the last day they have to write a 20-page paper. Like, that's when you're fucked, right? High school, it's trying to prepare you for college in that sense of, like, hey, get your shit done when you can, right? The second it gets assigned, start fucking working on it. Big bean for the sub. Compartmentalize it, get it done a month early, and then you're fucking scot-free. My last semester, I was done my final paper in fucking March. All of my classmates were sitting there skitzing in early April. Oh my god, it's due in two weeks. I was like, bitch, I've been done. Like, I've been done, right? And then I can just fuck around.
I can fall asleep. I can fucking do whatever the hell I want, right? And then you're not stressed anymore. Because if you procrastinate, all you're going to fucking think about is that you have to get work done, right? This is what you do. Say you have a, say you, say it's Sunday and you have an assignment due on Friday, right? Five days from then. If you do it on Monday and Sunday, now you have the next three days to fuck around and do nothing, right? But if you wait until Thursday night to do the assignment, all you're going to do Monday through Wednesday is stress out about how you have to do the assignment. And then you're not having fun. As much as I hated being jolted away from my- Suck it up, do it early, and then you can fucking do whatever the hell you want. Um, my and you have more free time used to implement the most this main method of waking me up in the morning for school they would dismantle my fucking door like a damn firefighter and turn on my lights blinding me like i'm using youtube on light mode i did us have ptsd from this shit bro the amount of times i would be in the deepest sleep just to have it disrupted by my mom using the lights as a stun grenade was preposterous bro every time she did this i did i thought the lord had called me to the afterlife so on one hand the alarm takes my hearing and on the other hand my mom takes my vision it's dead ass pick your poison at that point bro and i'm pretty sure we've all continued sleeping after our parents come to wake us up and then when you hear them spinning the block you launch out of your bed and get ready quicker than spongebob now we gotta talk about preparing for the first day of school Bro, my mom would never wake me up for class would y'all's mom make wake you up i just had an alarm i'll just set seven alarms in five minute increments and then i'll wake up by the third one right there were a few things in life that would make my skin crawl like the amazing spider-man and those back to school commercials are one of them seeing them trying to portray back to school shopping as this happy-go-lucky pinky swear to god when i'm a parent when i'm a parent if my kid asks me to wake them up for class, oh swear to God, it that dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in with a fucking air horn. Time to get up for class. It's fucking seven a.m. Get up, yeah. Like I'm gonna, yo, I'm because I don't want to wake their dumb ass up. They can fucking get up. Right? You're fucking 14. You can't get out of bed. You can't get out of bed. You need me to wake you up. I'm going to fucking, I'm going to right next to that motherfucker's ear. And he's going to say, you know, dad, I don't need you to wake me up anymore. And I'm going to say, good shit, man. He do ass experience is beyond quixotic, bro. By far the most aggravating and tedious part about preparing to go back to school is shopping for clothes. Back before I knew what adequate clothing looked like, I had to go shopping for clothes with my mom. If you're a heavy sleeper, bro, I have a friend that's such a heavy sleeper that you could, like, pinch him like this and he won't wake up. You could punch him and he wouldn't wake up. The only way he wakes up is if you put, like, cold water on his head. And to make it worse, I was subjected to having to wear uniforms to match with all these other nefarious individuals like some type of sick convention. Meaning that a majority of my clothes I had to try on were khakis and polo shirts. My mama had me trying on more pairs of pants than the Amber Crombie and Fitch model. Oh my model. god, I fucking hate trying on clothes. School clothes was the worst, but trying on any clothes, dude, fuck that shit. If, I, if I'm going to a store and I want to buy something, I'm just going to fucking look at it. I'm going to say, that'll probably fit. And then I'm going to fucking buy it, right? And if it doesn't fit, that's on me. Right, because I don't, the last thing I want to do when I'm in a fucking mall is go into the fucking changing room and, like, hang everything up, take all the shit out of my fucking pockets, and then, like, try it on and, like, do a little stand knowing that it's already going to fucking fit. Derek for the sub to voice for the three. Would you ever create an OnlyFans? No. What motivates you to stream? I like streaming, and it's my job. Uh, Big Bean for the sub. John for the sub. Oh, bro, and it was always so embarrassing when your parents would try to adjust your pants in public and the embarrassment would submerge you like some fucking quicksand. Trying on all those damn outfits was pretty much a workout, bro. My calories were getting burned quicker than coal in a locomotive. And I would go through all that sorrow and suffering just for us to walk out of the store with two pairs of pants. That's why I would always try and hide in that clothing rack for as long as possible. But I hope I wasn't the only one who would lay that fire-ass outfit on the bed next to them before the first day of school. That shit was a yearly tradition for me, bro. And then we had to go shopping for actual school supplies. Bro, our school would always send this I love shopping for school supplies. Oh my god. God, I love, I love going to Staples and, and picking out pens. Oh, this is so cringe. I love going to fucking Staples. I know, I don't care if you, if that's like nerd shit. Going to Staples and like getting a nice notebook and a binder and like picking like what color I want for what subject and like picking the pens and all that shit. Oh, it's amazing. See, uh, KR4 for the sub. Catalog of supplies longer than fucking Santa's list, That's bro. That's fun.
It made us buy all these notebooks, highlighters, and folders just for them to be used less than Lizzo's treadmill. And it was something different about that 64 pack of crayons, bro. Yo, now you... I'm lazy as fuck, though. I use this. I have a five subject notebook that has four different classes in it. And I'm just going to. And every semester, I just scribble out the one class. It was my oceanography, it was my history of modern philosophy, and my shark's myth and reality class. And every semester, I just scribble it out and then write the other class on, on the top of the folder. And then I just flip to where there's no, like, there's there's no pages used. You had that luxurious item in your possession, then you were pretty much the most clouded nigga in school. I remember always begging my mom for a trapper keeper because I didn't want to carry around an entire accumulation of notebooks and folders in my backpack. I had one of those in middle school, bro. Those were fucking fire. I had this exact one in middle school. Carry around an entire accumulation of notebooks and folders in my backpack. So niggas was walking around the school looking like fake-ass lawyers. I also was a fiend for mechanical- I take oceanography as a sophomore in high school dead face skull emoji. Dude, you realize in college you're gonna take the same fucking subjects as gen eds that you took in high school? They're just gonna be harder. Like, that's just college, right? That's not like you're a genius. I mean, like, good, good on you, man. <laughs> like, I'm saying, like, if you take biology in high school, shocker, you're going to take bio in fucking college. Except in college, you're going to cover what you covered in high school in a month. And then you're going to be like, oh, fuck. Meg for the three. Love your content for a stream on Twitch, but watch it on YouTube. Done. No, nah, but I'm not trying to make fun of you, bro. I mean, like, yeah, no, oceanography is actually a pretty hard class. And it was boring as fuck. I hated oceanography. I I fell it was I had that shit on Zoom, bro. I would fall asleep every day. Pencils, especially the ones with those erasers longer than Katie's feet. Even trying to get a haircut was damn near impossible because everybody was booking appointments at the same time. Now we gotta talk about taking those. That's not true. Oceanography's hard as fuck. What do you mean that's not true? Photos before school. I don't think I've been more embarrassed in my entire life until I was forced into taking these disconcerting ass photos, bro. Plus the angles in which my parents take these photos make me look like a goofy goober. Now I gotta put on this fake ass smile like Grunkle Stan or something. I just be standing there looking like Clay Thompson, bro. It's already bad enough that I'm getting sent away to an academic penitentiary, but now I gotta get my mugshot taken in front of the door too and ultimately sealing my fate. And if that wasn't bad enough, my parents be sharing this gooberish ass photo with other family members and friends. Now I'm on the front page of my mom's Facebook for thousands of niggas to clown me. I don't get why parents feel the need to publicly humiliate their kids on the internet. I damn near end up being late to school because my parents want to- They're not trying to publicly humiliate you. They're like proud of you, right? I think you got to realize that, right? Like your parents are just oblivious, right? They're not trying to make fun of you or like make you feel embarrassed. They're, they're genuinely proud of you. And so they're posting you because they're like, look at my son or daughter look at look at them they're look, look how old they're getting look at them growing up right I just play Austin Powers and film a whole documentary. Like, you can make an entire scrapbook out of my first day pictures alone, bro. And am I the only one who had those people who would take pictures in the hallway on the first day? But speaking of hallways, now we gotta talk about getting lost in the hallway. Bro, I'd be lying if I told y'all that me and my niggas wasn't in the hallway looking like the mystery gang going through all those rooms. Oh my bro. god, the first day of school trying to find where your classes were? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking panicking? Oh. Which one is which one is room P19? Where is P19 at? You're in the you're in fucking A wing. You're like shit. Bro, we would end up roaming around you the hallway like 20 minutes late. Plays longer than actually being in the classroom. The hallway turns into a fucking maze on the first day, bro. And I'm pretty sure everybody and their mama is walking to the wrong classroom at least once in their life. It doesn't help that the entire hallway looks like the crusty crab when the anchovies pulled up. Now I gotta try and maneuver my way through all these niggas like I'm Kyrie Irving or something. Not to mention these motherfuckers decide they want to cosplay senior citizen to take one step a minute. Everybody always used to put their schedule as their lock screen too, knowing damn well that shit didn't help. There was always that one teacher that would stand in the hallway and try to help students find out where they were going. But when you ask these niggas bro, for help, dead they ass, dead ass piece of advice. I started doing this later in high school. Go, if you know what your classes are and you know what rooms they're in and your high school's open before school starts, go there before school starts and look where your classes are. And then make a mental note so then when there's hundreds of fucking students, like, crowding the halls, you'll be on time, right? Because you won't be lost. They give you more directions than the GPS. My nigga, how are you less helpful than Matt from Dora? Same That's in college, because college is even fucking worse. College is worse because a college campus is like 10 miles long. Like, you could be in the wrong city. Like, if you, you have your business, you have your marketing class. Oh, that's, no, that's like, that's like 30 miles that way. 
mention they be talking at 50 words a second so in reality they barely end up helping me well, so that's you're on the other campus that's on c campus i'm gonna go left and take another left go right take the limo downstairs go past the bathroom go up in the attic and you'll be at room 213 this shit ends up sauteing my brain like some stir fry and then two hours later when i would find my class i got the entire classroom staring at me like i'm an alien or something there's nothing like everybody's eyes beaming on you like a laser or something and bro. everybody already picked their fucking seats oh Oh, and then you get the shitty seat for the rest of the year because nobody wants to fucking change where they're sitting. Even when I'm on time to class on my first day, niggas always make everything uncomfortable and stare at me as I walk to my seat. And I don't know about y'all, but I did ask me praying that I got classes with the homies, bro. There ain't nothing worse than having a class with a whole bunch of people you don't know. Something else worth mentioning is not being able to find your locker. And even when I did That's find- every college class. Every college class, you're going to have classes with no one you know. And you're never going to talk to them. Like, maybe, like, maybe you'll say, like, one word. You'll remember, you'll talk to, like, two people next to you, and then everybody else, you won't even know their name. It, it took me hell long to open it. I remember being in middle school when we first got access to our lockers. I was studying that motherfucking lock, bro. I was dead ass working that shit like a Rubik's Cube. Now we gotta talk about all the BS that the teachers be on on the first day, bro. Firstly, why the Never hell do we have- used my locker in high school. Did any of y'all use your locker? I used my locker my freshman year for my Arduino kit for my computer coding class. That was it. Because I didn't want to carry that bitch around because I was going to break it, right? Outside of that, I would just carry everything. Because I would have, like, a 30-pound backpack, and I would if I brought my, like, if I wasn't eating, like, school lunch and I brought a lunchbox, I would just carry it around. Because then you got to take time to fucking unlock your locker, which takes 10 minutes. Look. Such a pain in the ass. Marshall and keep for the sub. Glory for the three. Is having a whiteboard calendar worth it in terms of scheduling stuff like school? I have a whiteboard calendar. I, I use it for stream schedule, but, I mean, yeah, just use it for anything. Mason for the three. And they're like $5. I barely have uh, to school supply shop at college anymore. When I was a freshman, I overly prepared. Now that I'm a junior, I barely buy anything and everything is done on a computer. Exactly. Dude, or or I'll go into my... Well, I mean, my class is different, right? Because like if you're a biology major or you're like a fucking STEM major, you're going to be taking a lot of notes. In philosophy, it's just reading and discussion. And so I might jot down a few ideas, but like... In some of my philosophy classes, I'll have, like, six pages for the entire semester. Like, of notes, right? Like, you barely use anything. Sober for the sub. Uh, Matthew. But that's if that's if it's, like, paper writing classes. Like, most of my classes, I don't really have finals. I just have to write 20-page papers. Somebody said, oh, I didn't ask. Oh, that's cool, John Mayer. Uh, KR4 for the sub. Uh, sit in timeout for a little 10-minute break there. Uh, Matthew for the five. I want to say uh, thank you for everything that you do. Your vibes and streams keep me going. Meg for the three. I already read that. Uh, I love your content. First stream on uh, Twitch, but I watch everything on YouTube. Sober for the sub. Mason for the three. Uh, Marshall keep for the sub. Jagan for the three. Some kid broke into my locker and stole my shit. How? Get to introduce ourselves to the entire class. They be having us tell fun facts about ourselves. My nigga, I don't care what Jessica's favorite Chipotle order. Somebody said, can we see your laptop? I don't even use a laptop. I just bring a notebook. Is, bro. And it's so awkward because literally nobody cares about what we have to say about ourselves. The entire class is silent and everybody's minding their own business. But now we got to have a fucking post-game interview and shit, bro. And then on top of that, they be making us stand up so everybody can get a clear view. And as an introvert, this is some of the most aimless and absurd experiences I've ever been through at school. Especially in high school. Like, we're too grown for this shit, bro. We're never gonna talk to these niggas ever again. And then the teacher tries to act like they're so invested in our personal lives and shit. But what's even worse than that are those dumbass assignments where we gotta name five things we did over the summer. My Honestly, though... The public speaking assignments in, in high school are actually useful, right? Like, I know you dread them and you're like, this is so dumb. But, like, pr the odds of you having to do some sort of public speaking in your life is pretty high, right, outside of high school. Like, unless you're going into, like, the union or something like that uh, or, like, a trade job. Like, if you're doing anything for, like, accounting, business, any sort of, like, office job, you're gonna do public speaking at some point, so being able to like practice that is useful. Hey nigga, how about you mind your business? My teachers were dead ass nosier than Didi, bro. And then they usually have us read a lot of our answers. The first day is also probably one of the most irrelevant and mundane days in academic history. The teacher dead ass spends the first 30 minutes of class giving their fucking Do you have a favorite philosopher, Frejic Nietzsche origin story and how they came to be. They've always got a PowerPoint with all these cliche ass photos of them outside of school and they're not harassing students. This is some of the most boring shit I've ever sat through. Like is me knowing that your dog's name is Pumpernickel gonna help me pass this fucking class? They do a better job explaining themselves than they do teaching me about- uh, I went on a jet ski this summer. It was pretty cool. I went to, uh, I went to, I went to Disneyland in July. Yeah, thanks for sharing, Timmy.
on any subject bro and don't fall for them being all nice and cordial because them niggas are more two-faced and harvey dent they be talking about some we're gonna have lots of fun this school year man somebody get more in here because that shit was the biggest lie bro and don't even get me started on those dumbass syllabus that we have to get signed this is the school equivalent of the terms and conditions and then half the time i'll forget to bring it to school the next day and i swear every year i always had a math teacher who would say we we're already behind on schedule my nigga it's the first day what are we behind on attendance the first day is probably the slowest day on the entire calendar bro but then the teacher still got the nerve to give niggas homework on the first day they always swear that whatever grade we're in is going to be harder than the previous year and that we won't be able to slack off as much but that didn't stop me from treating my homework like bullets in the matrix and avoid that shit as much as possible they also make sure to tell us each of their 15,397 rules that we're supposed to follow no phones no food no mercy etc etc and i don't know about y'all but when school start back up it would still be hotter than the one chip challenge meaning that a lot of these niggas will come to school on the first day smelling like sorrow and blue cheese if you pull up to class on the first day smelling like pepe Le Pew, just go ahead and drop out bro but I think that's gonna wrap everything up for this video, man. Comment down below the worst part about going back to school, the worst part about the first day. Bro, I love his fucking account, dude. How do you even say that? Grimmy? G Grimmy? Bro, he makes some good ass videos. All right, hold up. I gotta piss real quick, chat. Y'all gonna have to count me down. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're back. Whoa. All right. Joe Bar Cousin for the sub. Next video. Five easy steps to outrun the police. We've all seen the chases on TV. You probably thought you could do it better. Maybe you fantasized about pulling off the perfect heist. I know I have. I think I can do it. I'll even show you how. These are five easy steps for running from cops. I'm definitely gonna be on a list after this comes out. Hello, FBI. Now in this hypothetical situation, we're gonna imagine that you're planning a bank job. Bank robberies are the coolest crime because nobody gets hurt and the money is insured. What could possibly go wrong? Step one, choosing the right car. Everyone has their own idea. If I'm gonna rob a bank, what car am I using as a getaway vehicle? A fucking Hellcat. A Hellcat that's gonna be going 180 fucking miles an hour down the goddamn freeway. I'm gassing that motherfucker. I'm flying faster than a fucking helicopter. Or you go something that's like really common. Right? You gotta go a really fast car or you gotta go something that's like, you know, that that's blendable. Right? That's something that's gonna blend in with the crowd. Like a fucking uh, Toyota. Of the perfect heist mobile. But each has a their- A motorcycle? That's a dumb idea. You're gonna rob a bank and then you're gonna get away on a motorcycle? Where are you putting all the shit that you're stealing? In a duffel bag? Then what happens if you hit a fucking pebble going 130 miles an hour? You're just going to die. Zion for the three. No lie, my science teacher back in my freshman year shared a cute story about how one time she accidentally shut her dog's leash in the door at a gas station, dragged him, and then soon after she accidentally ran him over too, like a month later, and she was laughing, telling the story while the whole class was looking at her like she was insane. Did the dog die? David for the three. Use a Hellcat red-eye jailbreak to escape the cops. I've already done it. Well, I know there's a lot of people that run from the cops uh, on motorcycles. 
Um, because there's like a no, isn't there like a no chase rule or some shit? Like, like uh, I, a lot of motorcycle riders will pull up their plates, like they'll bend their plate so the cop can't scan it, and then they'll just go like 100 miles an hour past the cop, and they won't chase them. Like, they'll turn on their lights and then just give up. Their own advantages and drawbacks. One thing that might affect your decision is what your adversaries but are driving. If you drive a bank, they're definitely chasing you. Driving cop cars used to be big sedans like the Crown Victoria, but that is quickly changing. Most departments are switching to the Ford Explorer Police Interceptor. It's always yo. If you drive a yo, I'm gonna say this right now. If you drive a Ford Explorer and you're not a cop, you're a dickhead. You're a dickhead because you because you got my heart pounding. Every time I pass somebody, bro, every time I pass somebody, I'm going five over. I'm like, oh, fuck. And then it's just some, it's just some mom driving her white Ford Explorer that could go 140 miles an hour, which she doesn't fucking need. Wheel drive has upgraded brakes and suspension and new models are pushing 400 horsepower. That's zero to 60 around five and a half seconds. Oh, Let's shit. See with some donut employees. Bro, I feel like most cars couldn't outrun a cop car. He's pick. That's easy. Well, I'd have my friend drive a white Ford Bronco, and then we'd just hit the highway. Cops never pull those over. Cheap track hawk, probably the best choice. Fiat 500 Turbo, not the Abarth, because the exhaust is too loud. Oh, and ever heard of a little thing called the Italian job? Yeah. Old school Porsche 911. Gen 2 Mazda Speed 3. Trophy truck, 100%. A white BMW. So you can drive like an asshole, and he won't stick out. <laughs> Supercars are Oh, they're trying to get away like not suspiciously. Oh, dude, I'm driving like a fucking I'm driving a Toyota Camry. No, no one's pulling me over in a fucking Toyota Camry. I'm going to drive a gray Toyota Camry. You're never fucking you're, you see this car, you're not going to be like, oh, they just robbed a bank. You're going to think this is just some dude that works an office job. Like, yeah, like, like it's, a, it's you know, it's an everyday man's car, right? It's just a, you know, like a thousand people have this within a fucking two mile radius. Fucking gray Toyota Camry. If I'm trying to be like very um low key, malnourished for the sub, VHAM for the sub, server for the three. It's so funny, my mom is a white explorer, and when I drive it, everybody slows down. Oh, yeah. If you drive a Ford Explorer, too, everybody in front of you is going to be slow as shit because they think you're a cop. Specs for the three. S uh, simple, you got a Toyota engine stop with a V12. You take off the license plate, you drive it to the airports when the cops uh, will use you because all the cars ditch the car under the bridge, have a backup car that will stand out like a Lambo, make sure it's a rental, take the Lambo back to the rental place, call an Uber, go home. That's a trail to you. The, you wouldn't want to rent a car. If anything, you would want to steal a car like six months in advance and then just blow it up. H3 for the sub, David for the three. Since you have a Wrangler, you should put a Hellcat engine in it. Yeah, that'd be a great idea. Fucking flip it. A logical choice. They're fast. Oh, somebody redeemed Dent. This heck and maneuverable. And whomst among us doesn't want to outrun a helicopter. But there are a ton of drawbacks. First, Supercars have no ground clearance. There's and you're, uh, you know, putting in a lot of investment money into a fucking supercar. Uh, you want to rob a bank. I don't think you got enough money to buy a fucking McLaren. No room for a big bag of cash. And visibility in most of them is trash. And lastly, there's no way you'll blend in. It'll be really easy for witnesses to say that your car looks like a Ferrari. A hat Toyota Camry. No, no. Oh, wait, no. Those are quicker, though. Hatchback is another good choice. Practical, low profile, and agile. Me personally, the thought of fleeing the cops in a Volkswagen GTI sounds pretty good. I think we can all agree on that, right? Ah, oh, God. All right. Turns out someone already thought of this. Car and Driver Magazine tested how fast your car has to be to outrun the cops. They used a GTI, which held off the cops around turns, but it wasn't fast enough to make any sort of gainful lead. So if you're thinking about going the hatchback route, make sure you're in an area with tight quarters and short straights. 
As for Pumphrey's trophy truck, you can literally go over anything, but it'll take a minute for your partner to put on the racing harness, unless they're fine with being thrown around the cockpit. What you need is something that splits the difference between supercar and a hatchback. Something with good performance, practicality, and the ability to stay undercover. Other people will tell you to get something like a 5 Yo, I haven't seen Dumb and Dumber in fucking years. BMW or maybe the Chevy SS, which are both great options, and I think you'd be okay. But I say go further. You want to blend in on the streets? I say blend in with the cops. Get a 5th gen Ford Explorer in either black, white, or silver, and you'll look like an unmarked police car. Better yet, just buy a police car. You can get these things for under- I feel like that's a terrible idea. Buy, if you're going to rob a bank and you're going to drive a police car that's not a police car, they're going to be able to find you. A Ford Explorer is probably a better choice. 15 grand, and Bart actually bought this thing. Not only will you level the playing field, but it's pretty comfy too. It's also got a column shifter. Oh my god, dude, we already watched the video. We already watched the video. Following 23 minutes ago, you missed it. Oh my god, timing you out, bro. Fucking spamming. Jesus Christ. We already, we didn't watch the video. We watched Charlie's video on it. Let me know what car you would choose in the comments. I want to see some freaking creativity, guys. Step number two, plan, plan, plan. When you watch a police chase live, it becomes clear that most of these people running don't have a plan. They just drive around a main avenue, take a wrong turn somewhere, usually hit some poor guy in an intersection, then ditch their car outside a laundromat. I would drive like 30 miles to an underpass i would blow up my, i would blow up the car to smithereens and then i would fucking and then i would i would have scuba gear i would have a waterproof bag i would have a waterproof bag i would drive my car 30 miles under an underpass and a bridge i'd blow the shit out of my car i'm fucking blowing it up i would have scuba gear and a fucking waterproof bag and i would swim up river no, not upriver. That's a bad idea. Downriver. To somewhere. And then I would have somebody pick me up. Hop into someone's backyard and then get tackled by a big dude named Officer Greg. But we ain't doing that. Nah. Before you rob that bank, you need to drive all around it at all different times of day so you know when it's better to take side streets and which roads to avoid entirely. Put these on. The Department of Justice recognizes three different types of pursuit policies. A discretionary policy leaves it up to the officer. A restrictive one requires an officer to ask permission from their supervisor to initiate. And discouraging departments only see pursuits as a last resort. That means, depending on where you live, the police might not chase you at all. Or you might live in a state like California where officers are not required by law to follow department policy and are in fact covered by an immunity shield should something go wrong during a chase. Something like this. Damn, he just playing fucking bumper cars with them. So be sure to know your local- I feel like that's the coolest thing about being a cop, though. Going on a chase, you gotta fucking- You just hit that motherfucker, you start flipping and shit. Department's policy ahead of time. To make sure you weren't stopped by a pit maneuver, spike strip, or getting boxed in, I recommend that you spend as little time on the road as possible. The less time you give the police to plan and coordinate, the better. Step three, driving correctly. Let's look at some footy. Here's this dude in a yellow Corvette. Pretty good car. Four Don't lie, if I'm robbing a bank, I'm probably gonna rob a bank in like Wyoming. And then I'm just gonna stash the money like somewhere in the middle of nowhere right and then i'm gonna like lay low for like a month and then i'm gonna fucking slowly get that shit barbecue boy for the fucking 14 month sub bro what's up hunter for the sub h3 for the sub i feel like robbing a bank in like new york or la is like the worst idea for the most part his like, you're gonna get the most money but you're also just gonna be fucked and it's to speed away from officers but for some reason there's no money though i mean yeah but, like, if you're saying, oh, there's no money, like, a Wyoming bank's going to have the same amount of money as, like, a local bank, right? They're going to have, like, 50 to 100 grand, right? He starts heading. That you're going to be able to steal. 
oncoming traffic, which sometimes works. Like unless but you're stealing like money from a central bank, like you're not getting that much. You're putting innocent people and yourself in way too much unnecessary danger. I don't recommend There's it. like no money in the bank. That's what I'm saying. Like if you stole, like if you went to your local bank and you took all of the money they had, they would probably have like a hundred grand. I got to look that up. How much money does a local bank have in cash? 50K or less. Large banks might have 200K or more. Central banks will have way more, right? But like, the, like is that worth it? Robbing a bank for 200K max? Like you might go in and they might be low on money that day. And they're going to have like 40 grand. This chase ends when he inexplicably hesitates, mashes the gas, and spins out, which leaves him open to a nice smash. Wow, they fucking ruined his car, too. Smashing. Go ahead and smash that like button. Y'all, I'll hit you with a like, brother. Huh? This guy's mistake was thinking that you can power out of a chase. Even the news anchors know that's a bad idea. No, no. Just put the SUV in front of him, dude. Before you wreck yourself. Oh, oh my god, this, this is, is embarrassing. Real. Then, there's this guy who stole a freaking tank back in 1995. You might think this is the ultimate getaway vehicle, and it kind of is, but not really. There's no way he could have blended into traffic with a freaking tank. A bigger problem was his lack of road knowledge, which came into play when he lodged the tank on some Jersey barriers, which ended the pursuit. Finally, there's this chase. Well, the pursuit would never end because a tank's not going that quick. Like, if you have a tank, they're just, like, they could just follow you. In Phoenix, which seems pretty docile, with the bad guy taking it easy on some main roadways. Things are going smoothly until he hits this intersection. Instead of taking the left with the flow of traffic, he changes his mind and continues going straight. This hesitation gives the two cars behind him enough time to get closer, which is good because there's even cop cars or there's just regular people. Cops. They were in plain sight, just waiting for the perfect time to strike. Unmarked cars are definitely something you're gonna have to look out for. No, they were cops and random cars. One thing cars. you can't look out for though is helicopters, but don't worry, I have a plan for those, which I'll tell you in a little bit. Ready? Step four, do the unexpected. You think anybody watched this video and then robbed a bank? It has four million views. If you want to get away from the police, you got to throw a wrench in the gears. Police have protocol for pretty much everything. Everything they're expecting, that is. Last year in LA, this chase ended when the driver went into an active metro line tunnel where the police did not follow because it was just too dangerous. The driver and his girl hid in an evacuation room where he was apprehended, but she got away. The lady got away because the LAPD didn't have protocol for someone driving into metro tunnels. but. I'll bet you anything that they do now. Do the unexpected. Something like choosing a bank near an airport, maybe. Not to get away on a plane, but to keep those pesky police helicopters at bay. Air traffic controllers have complete authority over who is in their airspace. If the police want to fly near an airport, they need to ask for permission. Plus, you need to be at the airport anyway, because you'd have a second car waiting for you in the parking garage. <laughs> so a little review before we get to the final step. Step one, choose the right car, know what you're up against. Step two, plan. I feel like you're still not getting away. They have cameras, right? Like you switch cars. They're just going to see you drive away in another car. Plan, plan. Step three, drive good. And step four, do the unexpected. Now, if you follow those four steps correctly and you make a clean break. They didn't inspect every car that goes out. That's what I'm saying. Or, or. It's just like, even if it's like a few days, like, you know how many people have cameras, like at the side, so like traffic stops and like all this other shit, like they'll just see where you went. It'll take them a month, but they'll find you. Step number five is learning how to order a margarita in Espanol, compadre. Dos margaritas, por favor. Now you gotta, you gotta roll your R's. I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to encourage you to do stuff. Don't do it. Don't rob a bank. 60% of bank robberies get solved in the first 24 hours, so wow. don't do it. You'll get caught. Follow me on Instagram at Nolan. The other 40% probably get solved in like a month. It's like so rare in 2023 to be able to rob a bank and get away with it. 
Most of the 40% of bank robberies that aren't solved within the 24 hours don't get solved at all. That's just so... I feel like that's so untrue. Those that do, it's usually because the robbers are caught uh, robbing a different bank at a later date. And then they connect it to the unsolved robbery. Yeah. I feel like maybe that. But I feel like the 40% of the robberies that aren't solved in 24 hours, at least like thir like only 10% of, of the... Only 10% of robberies probably end in people getting away for more than a month, right? Just because I like maybe like 5% get away forever, but even then, it's like, how are you getting away with that shit? Like, you have to have that so meticulously planned. You would have to know where all the cameras. I didn't mean to click on that motherfucker. And oh, yourself see, in way too content of this. Does this guy have? Uh A nice yacht 2007 2007 buddy's been in the yt game for a while eh this is latest video seven years ago this is oldest video this shit's in like 130p all right whatever swifty for the sub pickles for the sub david for the three uh, what I did, I took my Hellcat to Idaho, scoped out, uh, the nearest Wells Fargo. When I asked, went in, I asked for cash, took it, then came back to Florida in a nice home. TTV for the sub pickles, for the sub sleepy, for the 25. Dollar dono. Thank you, sleepy is shallow for the fucking 25. Uh, 2016 Infinity Q50 or 2017 Civic. Hope you get sponsored by Liquid Death. That is not the sponsor that I have for the upcoming, uh, sponsor. Oh, also chat. Uh, I'm announcing the drink sponsor this Monday during the VR stream. I mean, I'm doing VR tomorrow, but I'm also doing a solo VR stream Monday. Uh, and I have to solve the G Fuel brand issue. Should I just tape over the logo? I cover it most of the time with the mic anyway. Should I just tape over the logo? I want to keep the fridge. I feel like I just tape over the logo. And then on the side too, you can see the G Fuel logo on the side. I feel like I just tape it off. Melt it off? No, because, like, there's not... There's a chance I work with G Fuel at some point in the future. I just want to tape it off. Like, I'll tape it off. Tape that. I feel like that's kind of the solution. Paint over it? No. I could probably peel that off, but I'm going to have to tape that off over there. Well, that solved it. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> and there we go. Well, now I got to tape over the side over there. Why are you taping over the G Fuel logo for? I don't work with them anymore. And the company that I'm working with could considerably be a competitor. So I'm not allowed to have their logo in the back of my stream, right? But... We'll see what we'll see what company I'm working with on Monday. Uh what's chicken for the sub mats for the sub I'm a Joe B for the three. Been dating uh my girlfriend uh for over three years and we live together. I'm in a happy relationship, everything's perfect. Uh, I really love her, but I I keep having unfaithful thoughts about other women, and I feel so guilty about it. I've always been a flirt and toned it down after I got a serious with my girlfriend, but I still flirt regularly. And like I said, I have unfaithful thoughts. You flirt regularly with other women? Uh, Miles for the sub was chicken for the sub. Are you saying with your girlfriend? The mini shield sponsor? Maybe. Maybe. Speaking of, do we pop the other half? Somebody said it's prime. Y'all are stupid. <laughs> One of those do make you feel free, brother. Uh, uh, Miles for the sub. Emmy for the five. Jolly revealed it on stream. It was a mini shield. Mini shields. All right. Hold up. 
next video. Damn, we got so many more videos we gotta get through, chat. We only been live an hour and 50 minutes, though. We got some fucking time. We got some fucking time. All right. What company is that? I can't read cursive. You can't read this? You can't read that. That's not even cursive. The F is, but it's like, you can't read that. It says feel free. Do you take one every day? Well, not a full one. I take a half one every day. Um. All right. Next video. The wild world of Roman jobs. Now, I'm going to preface this. This guy has a documentary voice. But that does not immediately mean that this video is boring. Okay? I've played the first 10 seconds. It might be a boring video. Okay? But just because... Ancient Rome was a multi-ethnic... Just because he sounds like that doesn't mean it's boring. Okay? So we're going to give it a shot. Sleepy for the three. You didn't answer my question. Should I get a 2016 Infinity or the 2017 Civic? Oh, I thought you were listing what car you would uh, rob a bank with. Because we were watching a video about the cars. Uh, I don't know. I mean, are they the same price? Uh, and are they used or brand new? Hold up. Let me look up. Chat, should he get a 2016 Infinity or 2017 Civic? I'll pull up the photos. Twenty seventeen just a twenty seventeen Honda Civic. I mean, dude, the Honda Civic doesn't look as cool in my opinion, but I like I I don't want to say get a car based on looks. But like this car looks way cooler. The infinity. Like this shit looks fucking dope. Right? This car looks like it's fast. It's got the indents for, like, speed and fucking airflow. But this one... I mean, this one's probably actually better on the interior, if I had to guess. Uh, and one of my friends has a fucking, I think, 2018 Civic or 2017 Civic. He might actually have this exact car. It's pretty nice on the inside. Uh, I don't know, though. All right. Lock in here, chat. Next video. Ancient Rome was a oh, milky for the three. Hey, Joe, love the streams. Have you thought about uploading your VODs on YouTube? I love your longer videos. Uh, I mean, I have my main channel and my gaming channel, but like VODs, they're up on my Twitch for like two months that you could watch outside of that. Like there's other channels that upload them that I just copyright. Multi-ethnic society with a lot. Ancient Rome was a multi-ethnic society with a large population that required a broad spectrum of jobs to sustain its economy. However, choosing their career was not always an option for the general people. This was only possible for people with higher status or inherited roles. Prestigious professions, military leadership, and political administration were reserved for the Roman upper class, whereas ordinary people were involved in various jobs. Moreover, the Roman Empire depended on slaves, and any wealthy person could keep as many as 500 slaves. The 500 sla fucking people? Per person? Tavaco for the three. You should react to a Vostberga robbery. Send, uh, if there's videos on it, send it in the video suggestion tab. Uh, Lamone for the sub. I'm a Joe B for the 390 bits. I don't think I'd ever actually do anything, and I know it's wrong, and I feel guilty for the thoughts, but it troubles me, and I don't know what to do. I don't really flirt anymore, but I still have these thoughts and feelings, and I feel terrible, terrible about it. What should I do? Sometimes I feel like a sex addict. You could go to a therapist if you think you're a sex addict. Um... I don't know. I mean, it's good that you're not cheating on your girlfriend, number one, right? Um, But are you saying, like, you're having thoughts in the sense of, like, oh, that woman's attractive? Or you're having thoughts of, like, oh, I would get with that woman, right? Because those are two different things, right? Just because you're dating somebody doesn't mean you're not going to find somebody else attractive, right? But... When you're dating somebody, you shouldn't be having thoughts of like, oh, I want to be with that person, right? Oh, I want to get with that person, right? Because you have somebody that you're already with. If you're in a, uh, like a one-on-one -on -one relationship, right? Unless it's like an open thing, but based on what you're describing, it doesn't seem open. So I don't really know. Uh, reach out to a therapist, talk to somebody. Like, I, I can't really give you advice on that.
Slaves were controlled such that they had to partake in challenging, unpleasant works of low esteem. The typical jobs were farming, construction and domestic services, and educated slaves could work in medicine, teaching, accounting and artists. Some jobs, however, like the orgy planner or urine collector, were bizarre even to- The orgy planner? The or- the- the- the ancient Rome orgy planner? Who the fuck- what do you even do? What do you pick the people that are gonna be in the orgy? To the slaves. So today we will take a look at the weird- The piss collector? I know I've heard about a piss collector. Cause they used to sell piss. In ancient Rome, right? Before there was, like, dyes and stuff, they would sell pee, right? Because it could dye clothing, or you would brush your teeth with piss. Like, piss was valuable in, in the ancient times. Roman job. The weirder a job is, the higher it is ranked we on the We still do that? Yeah, no, but people sell piss now for sexual gratification. Nobody sells piss now to dye clothing. ...while more normal jobs are ranked lower. Let's start off the F tier with a job that actually still exists today, even though it may have changed slightly. Just like our astrologists who try to predict your future by your zodiac sign or tarot cards, the ancient Romans had their own version of that profession. You're a Gemini, you probably experienced deja vu, the feeling that this moment has happened before, and you also experienced- I saw a video on TikTok the other day of somebody doing a video of food, and they were like, I'm a Taurus, so, you know, I, you, you better get that food away from me. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. Like, fuck, just say you like food, right? It's not because you're a fucking Taurus. It's not because you were born in some specific fucking month that you like food. Everyone eats food! You just like whatever food that was there. Lamon for the sub. You better get that away from me because I'm a Taurus and I'll devour that. Just say you're just say you like food. Just say you're addicted to eating food, right? Like you like food. Oh my god. Waltzy pops for the fucking converted sub from Prime to Tier One. Deja vu. The feeling that this moment. You know what I haven't done in a while? If you have Amazon Prime, you get Twitch Prime for free. In which case, you get one free sub per month, which you can use on any creator of your choice. If you or your family has an Amazon Prime account, link it to your Twitch, in which case you will be able to sub for free, one per month, to any creator of your choice. If that creator is me, I make $2.50 per sub that you send me, and you have to spend nothing, and you get benefits such as no pre-roll ads, higher channel point values, sub badges, sub emotes, and a exclusive sub chat in the Discord. DJ for the sub with Prime. Thank you, man. Has happened. That's two dollars and fifty cents in the fucking pocket, bitch. Two dollars in the pocket. Before the Polarius were chicken interpreters who told the fortune of military campaigns. Another two fifty crazy call in the pocket. Before taxes, I'm actually gonna end up keeping about a fucking dollar forty or some shit. Means based on how chickens ate, instead of being tasked Wait, with. What? Happened before, and you also experienced deja vu, the feeling that this moment has happened before. The Polarius were chicken interpreters who told the fortune of military campaigns based on how chickens ate. Instead of being tasked with taking care of more regal birds like eagles or owls, the Polarius had to take care of sacred military chickens. Sacred military chickens. One of the strongest empires in history literally had chickens that were relied on to tell whether a battle would go well or not for the Roman army. Before a battle, a Polarius would release the chickens and throw corn on the ground. If the chickens ate, all was well. If they ate so messily they dropped kernels, even better. If they didn't eat, oh no. If they refused to come out of their cages, you may as well send everyone home. There even is a story about- There had to be times where that was proven wrong though. They really fuck- did it work? Oliver. Did it work? You really think whether or not eat whether or not the the chickens eat the fucking corn kernels is going to determine whether or not you win a fucking battle? No. But I'm saying like there's probably been yeah, coincidences where they where they ate and they won. But I'm saying like was there ever a time where the where the, the chickens were just fucking housing those kernels and then they got pummeled to the ground and they all died. They weren't like what about the chickens? They said we were going to win. Like, what do they say then? ZZ for the sub, Fade for the sub, please for the sub. Zesty and Rap for the sub, Sneaky for the sub. Wow, so many subs of Prime, Jesus. 
at one Roman fleet commander who was so impatient with the poor birds who were- uh, It's another 250 in the pocket! Thank you for the fucking 250! Understandably dizzy from sailing, not wanting to come out of their cage that he threw them overboard. He lost the battle and was scolded for drowning his fleet's sacred war chickens. I think this Bro, they really got mad at him because they lost the battle and blamed it on the fact that he threw the chickens in the water. ...perfectly defines the F tier. It is somewhat strange, but considering that we still do the same thing today, it's kind of normal at least for Yo, this- Yo, this is F tier. What's gonna be S tier job? Has to be Orgy Planner, right? ...list. We all know it, and we all hate it. You are at a party and someone approaches you, but damn you forgot their name which could result in embarrassment. Sucks for you, but the Romans were perfectly prepared for such a situation. The Roman profession of name caller or nomenclator had one simple task, to remember everyone's name at a party or other event. As Yo, that is a sick ass job. All you gotta do is know everyone's name. And then when somebody wants to say something, you're just like, that's Bob. That's Jonathan. I know you didn't remember that shit. What if you forgot, though? Oh, fuck. What if you forget their name? Efficient as the Romans were, they had a backup for not remembering people's names at gatherings and parties, saving themselves from embarrassment. When people would approach their masters, the nomenclator would loudly announce the name of whoever would come, saving a deadly social embarrassment. Wow. What sounds like a funny party gimmick at first was actually also a crucial political instrument. Political candidates would be accompanied by their respective nomenclators, who prevented any embarrassment for the candidate. Whenever someone would approach the candidates in a friendly or personal manner, they would ensure the candidate by calling out the approaching person's name out loud. That's that so clutch, though. That's not even a weird job. That's, I mean, it's weird in the sense that nobody would have that today, but that's actually a sick-ass job to be able to just fucking say people's names and you actually help people in parties. In situations where you don't remember somebody's name. I never remember somebody's name. Whenever you meet, whenever, I don't know if this is relatable. Whenever I meet somebody new and I shake their hand, I, I'm so fixated on saying my name is Joe. Like, what's up? I'm Joe. Rather than remembering what the fuck they tell me their name is, right? It, whatever their name is, I don't even, I don't even process what they just told me their name is. I just look at them. And I'm like, okay, I got to say my name's Joe, Right. And then I, uh, the second I stop shaking their hand, I'm like, what the fuck did they just say their name was? Joe Bar for the sub peak for the five. First time donating, want to say hi? What's up? Dude, there's been people that I've, I know by face that like go to my gym, right? And I've known them for like three months and I don't know their name. Because I shook their hand and I said, I'm Joe. And they said their name. And I'm too embarrassed to say, I don't remember your name, right? And now it's too far gone, right? Because if it was right away, I could have said, what was your name again? And it wouldn't have been bad. But now it's been three months. They say, hey, Joe, I should know their name by now, right? But I don't. And I can't ask anybody their name because no one else knows their fucking name. So I just don't know their name. And I don't know what to say, right? It's only like one dude. Right, I know everybody else's name, but it's like, fuck. That's why this job is in F tier, since it isn't really- I just say, what's up, bro? Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying, but I want to know his name. Like, I feel bad I don't know his name. Weird, but rather unique. Vestal Virgins? This was the like last a candidate thing. I heard of that. That for the F tier is the position of Vestal Virgins. In ancient Rome, the Vestals were known to be the priestesses of the Roman goddess Vesta, the goddess of the hearth, and were considered vital to the security of Rome. The duty of the Vestals was to keep the fire in the temple of Vesta burning. They believed that the failure to do so would lead to chaos in the empire. It was essential for the Romans that the Vestals were virgins. You might touch the finish line, but you've never touched a woman. You're right. I haven't lost my virginity. What the fuck this is was that obviously clip? a drawback and a risk at the same time. If they were to lose their virginity, they were usually walled alive and then left to dehydrate, a truly brutal punishment. Other vestals who broke any other vow, such as letting the temple fire go out, were beaten behind a curtain in the dark. Holy However, shit. the good in all this was that they were treated fairly well and given special game seats. So all in all, I would consider this job to be quite normal. Oh, special game seats? If the fire goes out, I get whipped behind a curtain. But special game seats. 
You can't ever be in a relationship or else they're going to wall you alive and you're going to starve to death. But I get special Roman game seats. I got to watch the gladiator matches. Especially considering that even modern monks and nuns still vow to abstain from any sexual activity. Although luckily the punishments today aren't nearly as harsh. Funeral clowns. Now we enter the E tier with a rather interesting but kind of controversial right, job. In the ancient world, a funeral clown was common enough to leave behind records of clowns making fun of the dead at their own funerals. Holy shit. These funeral clowns would mimic the behavior of the deceased. It wasn't just any behavior either. They specifically picked ones that made the deceased look bad. Of course- I feel like that's fucked up. Oh my god. You have a clown just prancing around at somebody's funeral. This video's boring. Then fucking leave, dude. I love this video. You have a fucking clown prancing around just like- Mimicking the worst traits of the dead person. Oh my god. Of course, this was done in a funny way that wouldn't offend the audience, which was likely made up of friends and family who wouldn't tolerate actual slander. One amusing account from Suetonius, a Roman historian, tells of a funeral clown mocking Vespasian, the emperor famous for his role in building the Colosseum, for his stinginess. The funeral clown was said to have asked the crowd, while still pretending to be Vespasian, how much the funeral would cost him. Considering that most of our modern death rituals are connected with immense grief, this might seem weird to many of you. However, I think the concept that a dead person gives his friend- Okay, now that they said it like that, I feel like that is- that does make it more lighthearted. Like, would that be bad? Like, him running around and being like, how much is this funeral gonna cost? Like, pretending to be him? I- I don't know. I don't think that is offensive. Friends and relatives one last laugh through one of these clowns doesn't sound too bad. In ancient Rome, asking the gods for help was common if one could not personally take revenge. A curse against their enemies was ordered by the hateful and the superstitious. The middlemen between the gods and the hateful person were called cursed tablet scribes. The entire day they would hear people's complaints of hate for others and oh. the wrongdoings they had endured. They would take people's requests for revenge and etch a curse onto a soft lead plate. Those cursed tablets were believed to have influential power against the gods and they would either be nailed to the wall of temples or rolled up, placed underground in graves or thrown into wells or lakes. All manners of cruel punishments consisting of blindness, madness, and hopes of the enemy's intestines being eaten away would be wished for it. And they would just etch that shit down? Yeah, Jimmy scammed me in a game of fucking poker. Put, put on the tablet that God strikes him down and lights his nuts on fire. But make sure to write down that the... Make sure to write down that one of them falls off, too. I hope he goes blind. Put that in the tablet. Put it, no, also put it in the tablet that his wife leaves him. Yeah, no, make sure, no, make sure his wife cheats on him with Brutus. Yeah, 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 yeah. You writing that down? In those curses, the treatment done to the material was compared to what should be done to the target of the spell. The curses would be written backward if needed to be extra effective. That's definitely a weird custom, but considering nowadays people use fake Twitter accounts to insult other people, this concept doesn't seem too far-fetched. Fuller. Now we are coming into the D tier featuring the Fuller. Fulling is the process of cleaning clothes, especially wool, to Oh, this is the piss thing. Oh, this is the piss thing, when you fucking stand and piss, because they dye the clothes. Oils, dirt, and other impurities, and make them thicker. Ancient Roman times were popular for fulling by making the slaves stand ankle-deep in the urine. As filthy as it sounds, the practicality- Oh my god, you just stand and piss all day? Holy fucking shit, that's disgusting. Oh my god. It's like you're mushing grapes, making wine, but you're just standing in piss. And it's not even your piss. It's other people's piss. The of the concept lies in the fact that urine was a source of ammonium salts. It was known as the wash that assisted in cleansing and whitening clothes. The use of urine faded when more sophisticated concepts of water mills came into place. The job itself was basically a very early form of someone doing laundry, which isn't weird at all. However, the part where you have to stand in ankle-deep urine makes this whole thing relatively unpleasant, I would imagine. Oh my However, god, your feet probably fucking reek. After like seven hours of just standing and piss, you have like wrinkly toes and they're yellow stained. Ugh. Like, do you think it's hydrated piss or dehydrated piss? 
Somebody just said my dream job. Nah, get him out of here. Mods! <laughs> Mods, get him out of here. Mods, get him out of here. Get him out of here. He said it's his dream job. Fuck. Uh, no, dude. Oh, it you would probably it would probably smell awful. You wouldn't be able to get that stench out. Like, no doubt. I would assume that it's probably like mildly dehydrated piss. Probably dehydrated. Because then there would be more ammonia in it. Like the yellower the piss. If you have like clear piss, that's like probably not that much chemical in it. Clipsy and void and venom for the sub mason for three. <gasps> I'm gonna chill in the pool. Uh catch you later, bro. See you later, man. Uh Elite Dom uh for the sub. Uh, save for the sub. Uh, your zombie for the three. Today's my birthday. Happy birthday. You've got me through so much stuff. Uh, and through some tough times this year. Thank you. I'm glad I could help. Peak for the five. Uh, I already read that. Uh, I think I read that. Did I read that? Yeah, I read that. All right. Kiki for the sub. A dumbass for the sub. Clepsy for the sub. The urine was actually so important in ancient Rome that they even had- what if you have a cut, can you get an STD? Can you get an STD from P? I don't know if you can get an STD from piss. I know it's bot. It is bodily fluids. I thought it was like blood. Can you get an STD from piss? Urine exposure likely won't put you at a risk for an STD, but it could. Oh, as long as it doesn't get into an orifice or wound. Okay, so it could get you. It could give you an STD. Oh, my God. Imagine, you, uh, dude, they probably have so many. Like, if you ever cut on your foot, you got to use your hands. Logo for the sub. They probably didn't even know that then. Official urine tax collectors. There's blood in urine? No, there's not. Is there blood in urine? Who, spoiler, will be featured later on this list. Another candidate for this tier is the position of armpit hair plucker. Armpit hair pluckers filled bathhouses with the screams of their clients. Roman baths were hubs of public life and of public image. One of the many services offered at the baths was armpit plucking employed by bathhouse guilds to manually pluck the armpit hairs of- Manually pull out your hairs on your fucking armpit? That would be so painful. Patrons with tweezers. The philosopher Seneca notes that the armpit pluckers would shout in the bathhouses to get people to get their pits plucked. And when the pit plucker wasn't shouting, he was forcing his customer to shriek instead of him. Honestly, this job was pretty normal considering that armpit waxing isn't out of the ordinary. Well, yeah, it's like the same thing as today. It's just they didn't have waxing. Even today. However, I think- Is that not normal to pull, you, to pull out your armpit hair? No. Waxing's one thing, right? But imagine you have like you have hundreds of armpit hairs and you're just getting tweezers and pulling them out. Why wouldn't they just use like a, a scissors or like a a fucking older version of a razor? Mocha for the sub barbecue boy for the 2400 bitties. Scrap for the sub. Here's your daily random quote. Heart. Don't take life too seriously. You will never get out of it alive. Hasbullah. Heart. Did Hasbullah really say that? Dude, that's a W fucking quote from Hasbullah. Thank you for the 2,400 bitties. Don't take life too seriously. You'll never get out of it alive. That is true. I mean, that's like, uh, dude, the net. Yo, can I show you all the next tattoo I want to get? Not this exact one, but I want something similar. Memento Mori. It's a Latin term. I want it with the hourglass, but I don't want this design, and I don't want the text that big. I kind of want the memento on the actual hourglass, but I would I would swap up the design. I just want something along the lines of, like, a skull hour. I would actually want the skull on the bottom, the sand on the top, because that doesn't really make sense as to why it's doing that. Uh, but I would want it reversed, and then the, the design change. Memento mori basically means remember death in Latin. Um, it's like an ancient term Stoics, uh, use like Stoic philosophers and just Stoics in general used to use in Rome. Um, the, the translation is remember death, but it effectively means remember that you must die. Right. Uh, and they used to tell, they used to like tell each other that because it was like, you have to keep in mind the randomness of death, right? Everybody assumes you're going to live long as fuck, but realistically you could die at any moment. Uh, so it's just like, remember death. So cherish your life and like value it greatly, right?
barbecue boy for the fucking 50 gifteds. Yo, what the fuck, dude? Oh my god. Barbecue boy for the fucking 50 subs. Holy shit. Thank them if you got a sub. Thank you for the fucking 50 gifteds. Oh my god. Yo, thank you for the fucking subs. Oh my god. Barbecue boy's a menace, bro. 1,507 subs to the channel total. Number one gifter. Barbecue boy for the fucking subs. I appreciate the fuck out of you, man. W quote, W gifted. Thank you for the fucking subs. Everybody thank them if you got a sub, dude. Thank you for the fucking subs, man. Oh my god, barbecue boy. That shit is crazy. No way. Again? Bro, a hundred gifteds in a fucking day. Oh my god. Barbecue boy, what the fuck? Oh my god. How many subs am I even at? To fucking 382 subs, bro. Barbecue boy, you're a fucking G, dude. Thank you for the fucking gifteds. Oh my god. So many fucking subs. Holy shit. Oh. Yo, dude, you didn't need to do that. Oh my god, that is so many subs. Thank you for the fucking gifteds, man. A hundred gifteds on a fucking Thursday. Holy shit. Barbecue Boy is a fucking goat. David for the three. I swear Barbecue Boy pops up to the stream and gifts like a hundred subs once in a while. Oh yeah. Dude, what the fuck? Thank you for the subs, Barbecue Boy. Oh my god. Holy shit. Yo, that is a fucking, that is a menace play. Thank you for the fucking gift, it's Holy shit, Zeon for the sub. Thank you for the fucking subs, Barbecue Boy. Like, genuinely. I know I said thank you like 30 times. I don't know what else to say other than thank you. Like, I appreciate that, man. Scrap for the thousand videos. Thank you for the support. And genuinely, 100 people just got a fucking free sub, so thank you, uh, thank you if you got a sub. Barbecue Boy, I appreciate that. Thank you for the subs. Wow. That turning this wow. Wow. Waxing process into a public event at the bathhouse makes it a little weirder than it needed to be. Ancient human resources. Now we enter the C tier, the perfect middle ground between somewhat normal jobs that are also pretty weird. Vicarious were the middle managers between their masters and their fellow slaves. And yeah, we're literally talking about real middle managers. Somebody said, uh, you know that those blue drinks have Kratom in them and they're very addictive. Be careful. They're not very addictive. Um, like, Kratom can have addictive properties if you're already prone to that. Um, but, like, Kratom as a whole is a legal substance that's used in many different things. And there's different ones. Uh, some of those have Kratom, some don't, right? Um, one has cr uh, Kratom and, uh, Kava root, and then the other one has kava root, lion's mane, mushroom, rhodia seed, and other stuff. Uh, but kratom as a whole isn't necessarily dangerous. I mean, you can be addicted to anything, but it's how you treat it, right? If you're just slugging those back, yeah, that's a problem, right? But the the day the serving size is half of a bottle, and the day serving size is one bottle. Like you're not supposed to drink more than one bottle a day. As long as you're following that, it's not addictive in any way. Uh, in my opinion, uh, Tommy for the sub. Right, I'm not going to say that you can't get addicted to it, because you could. You could get addicted to anything, but Kratom as a whole is not uh, an unsafe substance if used properly. All right, back to it. Just slaves who managed other slaves. That just sounds like slavery with extra steps. Ooh la la, someone's going to get laid in. Wait. Masters and their fellow s Now we enter the C tier, also pretty weird. Vicarious were the middle managers between their masters and their fellow slaves. And yeah, we're literally talking about real middle manager slaves who managed other slaves. It just sounds like slavery with extra steps. Ooh la la, someone's gonna get laid in college. According to Vicky Leon, author of Working 9th to V, slave owners would buy slaves to serve as their body doubles at work and do their work for them. These vicarious would then be lived vicariously by their owners who would send them to do office. What? Wait, so they would get a slave 
to either manage other slaves or a slave to take their place in certain jobs. Work. It wasn't so bad of a gig either since it turns out that some vicars would be given access to part or all of their master's assets. Some of them would be paid a portion of the profits made, allowing them to eventually buy their freedoms. Oh, shit. Ironically, more enterprising slaves, however, would opt to buy their own vicarious and continue growing their master's wealth so they could continue taking a cut. So while this management position isn't far off from modern businesses, the ancient slaves aspect makes that job very questionable. Oh, there it is. Or orgy plant. Or no way, orgy planner is only at B tier. We finally enter the B tier with the job everyone has been looking forward to, the Roman orgy planner. The planners were responsible for- Yo, hold up, I gotta scan this part because I feel like he might show nudity. Nah, it looks good. ...were responsible for planning the perfect orgies and sex parties where guests freely partake in open and unrestrained sexual activities, including group sex. They had the authority to select That's the- what a fucking orgy is. ...food, drinks, and music, as well as women. Those women could attend the orgy who were capable of making the event of utmost entertainment for the guests. The Greco-Roman world shared the party god Bacchus, lord of wine and ritual madness, and celebrated him with the Bacchanalia. Attendance of these parties had a tendency to really tap into that divine crazy party energy and go around on a debauched, often violent sex spree. At one orgy, legendary bisexual Alcibiades, an Athenian statesman and his homies, stole the dicks of hundreds of statues throughout Athens. However, the planners were despised, especially by the lower class, as they thought the entire event to be unnecessarily luxurious and expensive, or simply because they didn't get an invite themselves. All in all, the job must have been really funny, but like, I- Like, what do you do? You just plan, like, you pick the women that are gonna be in it, you pick the food, the drinks, and the music. Like, outside, it's, it's, so it's like planning just a regular event. But it's where people are going to have an orgy. I think I don't even have to explain why this job description might seem weird to some people. We start off the A tier with the position of Stercorarius, or to say it more bluntly, the shit collector. That is one big pile of shit. Ancient Rome was famous for its aqueducts and toilets, innovations that were so advanced it would take centuries to see them return after the fall of Rome. What a lot of people forget is that a lot of these advanced services were available only for important public buildings. Think of the noisy bathhouse where the armpit plucker is trying to pluck your pits or government buildings. they ain't even gonna choose their job? Like, it, like you could both, you could both just be, ta like, one of your friends is tasked with being an orgy planner and now you're the fucking poop collector? Buildings, regular residential areas where most people lived, not on the plumbing grid. That's why the Stercorarius had to go from house to house and collect people's shit from their cesspools, bucket by bucket and wagon by wagon. He then had to drag all everybody's shit outside the city where he would sell it to farmers. For his troubles, the Stercorarius got 11 copper coins. Considering Rome's bumpy stone streets, it wasn't a rare occurrence for one of these shit wagons to literally flood the Stercorarius. So considering you were basically a personified toilet flush, this job was one of the weirder ones. I think that's the worst fucking job you could have. Having to walk around and collect poop in ancient Rome before there were machines and everything was hand done and you probably just had a shovel and you were just like just mounding shit into a fucking into a fucking wheelbarrow or some shit and then you sold it, you sold human poop. Ike for the sub day for the thousand, or the 2,000 bitty says D's nuts. Zeon for the sub peak for the five. Should you play Knockout City again? That game uh, is no longer in existence. CSGO for the three. I want to say you should get a tattoo with Carpe Diem. Uh, Carpe Diem just actually, actually does coincide with uh, Memento Mori. Because uh, they're both Latin and one is remember that you must die. So seize the day. Carpe Diem. Uh, Tommy for the subscribe for the thousand bitties. Uh, Zeon for the sub. Big Chungus for the sub. All right. Laser for the sun. The urine tax collector was basically the big brother of the shit collector. As introduced by Emperor Nero, the urine tax was subsequently taken upon by his son Titus. Urine was widely used in various chemical processes, such as extracting ammonia to clean and whiten clothes, soaking animal skin before tanning. Bro, imagine, and having a, imagine having a sales tax on piss. Like, you want to buy pee, and now you have to pay a sales tax. 
Because you're buying piss. Even using it as toothpaste, the urine would be... See, that is like... There, like, there's no way people thought that would... Like, does that actually clean your teeth? Does brushing your fucking teeth with piss actually clean your fucking teeth? ...summoned from public toilets and cesspools. When the finances of the Roman Empire had been crippled after nearly two years of civil war, Vespasian inherited the empire and left his successor with a profit through the urine tax collection from the urine gathered at public restrooms. When Titus Vespasian's son blamed his father for applying the tax on urine, he held a piece of gold coin procured from the tax against his nose and replied, Money does not stink. The Whipping Boys? The position of the Whipping Boy was exactly as cruel as it sounds. The education of the royal children faced some difficulty in the 15th century as education was enforced through punishments. The divine right of kings that stated God and the king's son appointed the kings was to be punished by no one, but the king brought the tutors into a dilemma. Hence, as a solution, the appointment of whipping boys was established. Another boy studying with the king's son appointed by his son would be punished if he misbehaved or did not do his homework. Stay still! You are fucking kidding me! You're the friend? You're just some random guy that's studying with the king's son? And if he doesn't do his homework, you get fucking tortured? What? Because you're not allowed to fucking hurt the king's kid. And so that little brat is going to just not do his homework and then you're just going to get beaten for it. Mr. Arizona for the sub day for the thousand biddies. There's got to be benefits of that. And you're a kid. You're a fucking, you're like 10. Oh my God. Is it so they don't fucking, I, I would assume it's because it's, it's like trying to, to solve the issue, right? Because it, it, it's. It's an impenetrable, po impenetrable problem in that, like, you can't get the kid to do anything, right? Because he's immune. So instead, you would get him to befriend another person. And then if he starts slacking, that kid gets hurt. And then now the, kid, the king's son feels guilty and he'll start doing his work. Like, imagine you're immune from punishment, but your friend isn't. And so your friend just gets beaten whenever you fuck up. And so you'll feel bad. And then not fuck up. Biagi for the 33 month sub in a row. 34 month fucking sub total. My longest running sub. W Biagi. TTV, uh, insert username for the sub TV uh, for the three. I sent a pretty solid video about uh, Valsburgo bank robbery and Discord suggestion tab. I'll watch it another day, likely, if it's good. Uh, not a guarantee I watch it, but thank you for suggesting it. In return, the whipping boy was granted noble titles and estates for his service once he was an adult. Oh. The idea behind this was the hope of developing a bond between the two, leading yeah. to the royal infant behaving and studying well to end the whipping boy's misery. Oh my god, but what if they didn't give a fuck? What if the king's son was just like, I don't care, and then he just gets beaten every day? So while this job could provide you with titles and other rewards... Somebody said, Joe, someone is impersonating you in Valorant and spreading false rumors. Rumors of what? And somebody's pretending to be me in Valorant? What? He's just going into a Valorant lobby. Hey, I'm Joe Bartolozzi. Hey, I'm Joe Bartolozzi. Like, what? I've met them. You've seen them in a Valorant lobby. Where was that chatter? Oh, here it is. Just report them. Uh, TTV for the sub. And that's just so odd. They're pretending to be me in random Val matches and just saying random shit. I've seen them too. Okay, you guys are literally just fucking lying. I, eight people in my chat just said, oh, I've seen them at a Valorant lobby. Really? Really? Out of the millions of people that play Valorant, you've queued... Eight of my chatters have queued with this one fucking guy. Oh, I've... Oh, actually, I've, I've queued with him, too. Oh, my God, he was in my game the other day. Uh, really? Oh, no, I saw him. I saw him the other day, too. Oh, no, I saw him the other day as well. Like, what? He's in my game right now? Shut the fuck up. He's in my game right now.
That is odd, though, if they're just pretending to be me in Valorant matches. That's just weird. I feel like you're capping, but I don't know for sure. I pretend to be Mr. Beast on Among Us for real, though. But does anybody actually believe that you're Mr. Beast? You pretend to be Jimmy, and people believe you? Like, what are the odds of that? Like, oh, really? Like, some dumbass kid probably thinks you're fucking Jimmy. Among Us is full of three-year-olds. Yeah, that's the only way it would actually fucking happen. On my mother he is. Well, what is he saying? And he just says he's me in just random Val lobbies? Day zero for the sub. Actually, I gotta take a fucking piss, too. Before Wait, actually, no. We're almost done this video. I'll pee after we're done. All right. Boards. It must be a horrible feeling to get a bloody punishment for the mistakes a stuck-up child of the royal family made. Okay, so the whipping boy is the worst job. From orgy planners to the curse tablet scribe, it is safe to say- Does this sound- I feel like the audio just sounds weird now. Say ...that the ancient Roman Empire had a room full of extremely strange professions. And while many of these professions seem very- He's saying like slurs and all sorts of things and doxing people in matches. He banned somebody in my match. What do you mean he false banned someone? How did he false ban someone? And if he's saying slurs, just report him. Very funny. There are also some very dark ones. Especially considering the harsh- And he says his name's Joe, or he says his name's Joe Bartolozzi? Punishments the whipping boys and vestal virgins had to face. In the end, the Roman Empire never ceases to amaze us with its extravagant lifestyle. But that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. W fucking game. Or not W game, W video. Leo for the sub. That was actually a good ass video. Fucking learning about all those weird ass jobs. All right. Uh, Leo for the sub. Uh, I think I read everything else, right? Uh, yeah. All right. Hold up. Let me go piss real quick. Chat, count me down 30 seconds. I got to cue a song real quick. He has your name and everything, and he is a voice changer. Well, I mean, he's just pretending to be me, dude. Like, I can't. What am I going to do about it? Like, thank you for letting me know, but, like, there's nothing I can do. He's just pretending to be me, right? Report him if he's saying slurs as well. And if he has my name, that's still not me. Anybody can make their username whatever you want. It's the it's the numbers at the end that matter. If his name is just Joe Bart in in a fucking Valorant match, that doesn't mean he's me. Right? I feel like most people would realize that's fake, right? Like if you thought that was me, I feel like that's just kind of odd that you would believe that. Sorry for the worries, man. I just want to let you know. I appreciate you letting me know. Just report the account. I mean, outside of that, if he is a voice changer and he's pretending to be somebody, people do that all the time, right? People pretend to be Mr. Beast. People pretend to be PewDiePie. People pretend to be me all the time, dude. I like, what am I going to do about it? Fuck it. <laughs> Complain? Like, I don't know this guy. He just has a voice changer in a Valorant lobby and he's saying slurs. It's just weird. All right. Count me down 30 seconds, chat. I'll be back. That was my most listened to song in 2022, which is crazy to think that I listened to Sorry for Party Rocking more than anything else. Uh, all right. I'm posting on TikTok real quick. Hold up. Then we're going to the next video. 
We got a video about Disney adults, and then we're getting into the scary reacts that I that I promised because we didn't watch any yesterday because I was just playing fucking FNAF. Uh, All right. Next video. The Disney adult problem. Adults are horrifying, horrifying. Disney adults are horrifying, horrifying creatures. I didn't even think I was going to talk about Disney adults, right? Everybody kind of knows. It's in the ethos. It's in the galaxy. It's in the air. People, if you're over like 30 years old, I, I, mean, I don't know. I, I dare I even say 25 and you are like religiously, you're like a big Disney fan and you like going to Disney World. And that's your favorite thing ever. It's creepy. Okay. There's no other way to say it. I don't know. It's like, it's, this isn't me even me. I don't, okay. I don't think it's okay. I don't think it's creepy, right? I think it's just, like, an attachment to a childhood thing, right? Like, a Disney adult being obsessed with Disney is just an attachment to some form of their childhood self. I don't think it's creepy, right? I like Disney movies, but I'm not going to wear Mickey ears and go to fucking Disney 20, 30, 23 times a year, right? But, like, I'll still watch Wally. -E. I'm still, I'll still watch Up. You know, I'll even watch The Lion King. It's a good-ass movie. It is me saying it, but it's mostly, it's just, it's become a part of culture within itself. Last night, I was streaming on my Twitch, which I also- Yo, I'm watching Wally tonight. Swear to fucking God, I'm watching Wally tonight. I gotta write that down. Watch Wally. I guarantee you I won't watch it tonight, but I've been wanting to watch Wally. <sighs> I've been wanting to watch that shit so bad. I have a Twitch. the sub. Do you know me from school? Oh, here we go. Hey, Joe, I knew you. You remember me from high school? Proceeds to say the most generic name ever. I'm John. Really? Oh, you're John from high school. This is a plug, Ooh. sorry. And I was thinking about going to Disney World soon just to check it out. I have never been, and I wanted to see the fucking craze and the mania. And I stumbled across this YouTube channel where this guy goes to Disney World. He goes to other places too, but this guy goes to Disney World a lot. And I just got to click on one of his videos and experience one of the many wonders of somebody being in complete Ah, childlike wonder of being in a place like Disneyland. So I just, I had to share it with you guys. This is, it's a lot to take in. So good luck and God bless. I also want to reiterate, I do, I'm not the nicest guy in this video. I it's never understand. Okay. Yeah, no, like I, you know, do whatever the fuck you want, but I never understand proposals at Disney, right? I understand if, if two partners are into Disney and they love Disney, having something Disney related in their proposal, whatever the fuck they want to do, right? It's your life, it's your proposal, it's your marriage. It's whatever the fuck you got, you, whatever the fuck you're into, right? But getting married or proposing in Disneyland or Disney World when it's fucking 105 degrees outside and you got the fucking Mickey ears on and you smell like fucking shit because your B.O. is fucking reeking, because your deodorant just doesn't start work, it just stops working after five minutes because it's so fucking wet and hot outside, and there's just a bunch of crying children, some kid throwing up on the ground, and all this other fucking bullshit going on. Mickey's probably uh, dancing around. Mickey wants to die because it's 110 degrees outside, and he's wearing a fucking 40-pound suit, but he has to act happy, and he also has to wear employee underwear. I just don't foresee it as a, a romantic spot to get married. This is me on my stream, just bullshitting around. I in no way endorse going out and Joe like has experience? Yeah, because I went to Disney my freshman year in high school. And I, it was, it was okay, right? But I, in all honesty, if I never go to Disney again, I don't care. The only reason I want to go to Disney, and I know motherfuckers are going to call me an alcoholic for this. I, the only reason I want to go to Disney is because me and my friends want to go to Epcot and do the drink around the world thing. Where you just get one drink at every country. That's all I want to do. I don't give a fuck about Magic Kingdom. I don't give a fuck about Animal Kingdom. I don't give a fuck about any of that shit. I'm trying to go to Disney World. I'm trying to go to Epcot. I'm trying to have one drink at every fucking place. And I'm trying to go home. Raw for the sun. Hating on this person or being a dick, even though I am. I'm a bad guy. All right. Maybe, <laughs> maybe get in a fist fight with Goofy. Right? Target one of the fucking people. Just... Just fucking roundhouse him, get banned from Disney. 
to shit. I don't know what I'm supposed to tell you. Don't be rude to this guy. I just thought it was a funny video to share with you. It has really nothing to, to reflect on him, but the Disney adult stuff does make me cringe. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. All right, I'm a bad guy. I'm a bad fucking person. Don't be like me, uh, but enjoy the video. Sad old man makes fun of Guy for being happy. Any future projects with Noel or just a podcast? Whenever I'm in LA next week, I'm going to try to go to Disney World with him. Really get to know him better. I feel like if you're going to get to know somebody, you'd want to go to Disney World with him, right? Oh, I yeah. love watching people do the, uh, doing like a vlog. This, this just stand in line, stand in line for 10 fucking hours to just get on, you know, the most mid ride you've ever been on. Oh, but rock, oh, but rock and roller coaster is actually pretty fucking fire, Joe. Ah, uh, well, I think you've never been on Space Mountain. I have. I have. I've been on Rock and Roller Coaster. I've been on Space Mountain, right? You know what's better than any of those rides? Any fucking ride at Six Flags. Any ride at any Six Flags you've ever been to is better than the best ride at Disney World. Well, the music at Rock and, you know, it's in the dark. Rock and Roller Coaster is actually in the dark and there's rock music playing. Oh, really? Fucking go on any, go on the worst ride at Disney, not at Disney, go on the worst ride at Six Flags Great Adventure, and you'll have a more fun time, right? And the line's shorter. It's my jam, I love it. We're watching this guy, and it's dude. it's not $10,000, right? Oh, Disney World, the wonderful place of happiness. Everybody's so, so glad to be there. Oh, what a great business. Why are they charging you fucking $750 for a fucking day pass and all this other bullshit to get a fucking fast pass? And for you to be able to jump parks, you actually have to spend more money. So going to Disney World for about, you know, fucking three days is the same price about going to the fucking Bahamas for fucking a week. Would I rather go to the Bahamas or would I rather go to Disney World for fucking four days? Dude. Oh, Spider-Man roams. <laughs> Spider-Man roams the streets here with us mortals? This is unbelievable. <laughs> What? What you're looking at? Three trees in an in industrial Anaheim, California. This is. Oh the my God! He went to Disneyland. That's even worse. Disney World is the better one. Best. Am I wrong? I'm pretty sure Disney World is the one that's like everybody like raves about. That's where I went. I thought Disneyland is like the shitty version. Day of my life. Already, this is making me not want to go to Disney. Disney land or view from the howard johnson anaheim you have no idea oh, they're not even staying on the resort how hard it is to get the seventh floor fucking tickets here out of the howard jones hotel in anaheim california we can see traffic and i can see some rooftops in disney park they kind of spoiled us here but holy with what i live in a sewer in mississippi i have never been to a more beautiful spot in my life this is unbelievable oh, the bros, bros acting like it's not just like kind of a better version of a holiday in they really spoiled us here. Bo's on a fucking four by two balcony with no chairs. Monorail. Look, 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 look. Oh my God, it's Mickey! Public transportation! Oh my God! I just can't even believe it. If you're wondering what that noise is. Wait, <laughs> if you're... <laughs> If you're wondering what that noise is, it is the uh, extremely loud freeway uh, right next to me in the Howard Jones Hotel. Super loud at 6.30 in the morning. That's what that is. Shout out to the Howard Johnson. Shout out Howard Johnson, dude. I mean, look at that setup, dude. Two queen-size beds. Uh, Andy Warhol uh, Walmart poster on the wall. I took six showers this morning and threw my shit all over the place. I could have tidied up the room a little bit while I was vlogging just to make it look a little more serene. But I'm just going to leave my underwear right next to the toilet. A little bit worried about the 100th tomorrow because if it's windy they don't do fireworks swear to god you get me going to the howard johnson hotel in fucking disneyland i'm opening the door and i'm turning the ac down to fucking 62 degrees i'm getting my money's worth that that ac bill from my room is gonna be more than i fucking paid to be there i'm fucking opening that door i'm turning the ac on you know i'll let the sink run i'll let the sink run i ain't gotta pay for that shit raw for the sub if they don't do fireworks tomorrow, I'm going to kill myself. I want to put that on record. I'm crossing our fingers on that one. Oh my god, is that the gates of heaven? Holy shit. A hundred years of monopolizing a film industry. Guys, just in time for the hundredth celebration, I don't think I've ever caught Disney updating the concrete live. Oh my god, he's that happy about the concrete update. 
Oh my god. Hey! People, they're updating the concrete live now. Wrap your head around that. I don't think I've ever seen Disney once update the concrete in person. I mean, these workers who are doing minimum wage work, they're out here really early before we even got here. I'm gonna look at them like they're fucking animals in a cage. I can't believe that they're putting paint over the pavement. This is this is amazing, man. Dude, Whoa. this is a milestone. This is a huge am, milestone. There's the 100th monorail again. Who cares about the monorail? Obviously, the colors for the 100th anniversary is like purple, silver. Kind of reminds me of an era when I grew up, uh, Justin Bieber. Yeah, that's why everyone's a Disney adult. Era, you know, all the purple. Because it's nostalgia. That's what it is. It's it, Disney adults are getting scammed by Disney by the fucking by sh by the nostalgia that's getting fucking shoved down their fucking throat, right? Oh, you remember this from when you were ten? Oh, you remember this fucking ride? Oh, only $70 for a fucking pin of Goofy. You fucking love Goofy, don't you? Back when you didn't have to fucking pay taxes. Hey, babe, did you hear the Justin Bieber comment on the video that I made? Babe? Oh, fucking bitch never watches my fucking videos. I've never seen someone see I, I what I'm jealous of is I will never feel this kind of excitement for just the most mundane. Oh, yeah. No, I wish I like in all honesty. Yeah. Being that happy about like the smallest things I feel like makes your life just amazing. Right. Like I'm never going to Disneyland and I'm being astonished by like this plaque that they put up things like oh. spending 10 minutes there oh, mercy, fucking sorry. way um okay okay <laughs> there's a huge plastic sign that says 100 years of wonder i mean guys 100 years can we just go ahead and honestly once again howard johnson thank you so much for just hooking me up i, I just i can't believe it so this is my favorite character lightning mcqueen um i once touched myself in a movie theater watching it What the fuck was he talking about? I want to go to Disney World now and just do a, uh, like a character. And I do a fake vlog and I'm just looking at everything that is absolutely mundane and being like, oh, this is literally probably the best day of my life. This is seriously the best day ever. Now, there's been lots of controversies with these online. I gotta ask you guys, does this look 3D printed to you? Who cares? It's the same thing you've been seeing every day. Hi, it is dude. really it's just a bigger it's just a bigger plaque dude. on the threads online there's a lot of controversy that if these are 3d printed which if this isn't actual silver how are we gonna fend off the werewolves that come in here at 8 p.m i don't know leave your guys' comments down below <laughs> yeah guys like all right thank god what's up man he's yeah. in a fucking sweatshirt how hot do you think it is there a uh, huge howard johnson enthusiast as well i do think it's 3d printed and i actually canceled my trip in two months because i'm not gonna stand for this anymore oh my goodness disneyland oh my god oh, goofy. i fucking love this guy papa meat he's selling drugs Dude. goofy's just showed how a little girl how to do meth that's the best day ever honestly best day not sure if you guys can hear uh, the area music but we've got <laughs> Why I'm is he dying? I'm sure if the loud Chinese music is that is playing over the speakers, if it's really picking up in my Canon DSLR, but it's very, it's like hip hop influenced, I'm pretty sure. It's very sweet. Basically like, you know, Chinese music. So that's Mickey dressed as a Chinaman, which um, is pretty cool. I personally wouldn't have been that distasteful with Mickey, but that's just me. Uh, like I said, guys, I don't really fuck with this stuff. I'm, I'm just kind of waiting for Avengers Campus to open. Juan music. It's beautiful. Beautiful time. You say it's Mulan music? I wonder how true that is. <laughs> I wonder if it's actually even Mulan. He's Dude, like, like, they try to get this vibe of like a wonderful, magical area, and then there's just hordes of fucking people, right? At Disneyland or Disney World, just hordes of fucking people. Some dude drenched in sweat, throating a fucking foot long corn dog. Like, I'm not going to be able to take in the scenery and the fucking music of Mulan. If there's just some guy with a Mickey hat with fucking shit all over his face, just I'm fucking eating a turkey leg as he's walking to the next ride. 
like definitely from the Mulan soundtrack I'm pretty sure is it sounds like something that would be in that it's so eerie to see this it's probably gonna be like a food court they probably since this is the Chinese Asia area or whatever I didn't really look into it they're probably gonna put like a couple Panda Expresses over here I imagine probably I didn't look into it. this is my least favorite part of the park holy cow guys just got hit with a bombshell a um <laughs> Uh oh. You guys have no idea what's going on, but something kind of just happened. <laughs> oh my god, with... he's talking like somebody died. What I'm. My dad was actually struck by a diesel, <laughs> and he uh, he's going to be paraplegic for the rest of his life. Oh god. We'll have a video on it coming soon because I don't really know what's going to happen. I thought it was done and over with, but something big just happened. <laughs> Not as big, though, as heading on into Avengers Campus. So let's go check it out. <laughs> Why would you include that? Why did he just say that something bad and big happened and then just glances over it? Something that the core battles, I thought I was over and clear, but apparently they said they found more semen samples. Uh, so I think a whole can of worms just got reopened. So we'll see. All right, guys, but not as cool as going to Avengers Campus, right? Avengers Assemble. I, I mean, we got to see what the update is, right? Later on. Welcome to Avengers Campus, and it's very nice to come here in the morning. Do you guys think that's 3D printed or? <laughs> it's so much more enjoyable. God, the music is so loud. Have any of you guys been to this before? The music seems so loud right there, doesn't it? Now I found the attachments. Oh, and they have so many shops. I don't know about Disneyland, but Disney World, dude, it's like every three feet, there's just $40 items that you can fucking buy. Look, $34.99. And, uh... Oh, my God. Uh, you have how to... much? How much? How much? Repulsor, $24.99. Mystic Amplifier, $24.99. What the fuck even are these things? Get this one first. This one's going to allow you to shoot three webs. What? And uh, it's $34. Dude, I'm... Oh, 34 pre-tax? Imagine being in this fucking store, like working in the store, and you hear the Avengers theme song all day, every day. Can you fucking actually fathom that? Before what is this? I had a friend that would steal pins from Disneyland. Or Disney World. He has like 30 of them. And I was like, dude, how do they not catch you? He was like, he was like, one of my friends was talking to the worker. I just pocketed 30 pins and left. I was like, wow. I was like, you could have gotten arrested for that. Like, that's like hundreds of dollars of pins. He's like, yeah, I know. Jackson for the sub. He just steals pins. A, what, a what are pins? Like Disney pins. Um, Disney World pins. Like the the little like fucking collectible pins that everybody's obsessive over, like these, right? And they're expensive as shit. And like they're collectors' items, and they have ones that like if you get married, you get like a free one. That's like yeah, you're getting married at Disney or some shit. People rave over that. Slingers for so we a have ride. This on fun mode, basically, when you're not inside Web Slingers. Okay, so this is what. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, sorry, I accidentally showed a different product that actually wasn't <laughs> supposed to. That was actually supposed to be in the video. I apologize. Holy shit, dude! What? We have this on fun mode, basically. We have it fun on mode. Fun! Okay, Holy so is, what, shit! Wakanda forever, right guys? What are those people in Wakanda doing out there? Damn! Okay, that was fun and all, but I don't know. I have a hard time buying that. Just because, you know. <laughs> Listen, the technology is cool. Can you explain why you didn't want to buy and everything? It? And I did spend $55 on the Genie Pass, but I'm kind of having a hard time wrapping my head around $25 for the Web Slinger, all right? I'm not here all the time. Maybe I was here all the time. Try not here all the time. What are you talking about? You were just talking about how you were here like last week. What in God's name is that? What the fuck is this over here? Is that a drop? Is that one of the drop rides where they bring you up and then they just release you? It kind of looks like the Tower of Terror here that's actually the scientology's fun center the scientologists all get to go in there there's no windows or anything but it is ac it is climate controlled which is pretty nice oh that's the guardians ride this is a, just a whole ride holy shit what's up spidey it's the guardians the drive drop uh guardians of the galaxy drop ride yeah too much yeah i just on patrol you need anything what's up i'm the king of new york oh wait no that's miles morales <laughs> what's up man you need anything i'm here for you 
asks. My god, he probably feels like such a dumbass. You want a flake, man? Oh, bad enemies? I'm the king of New York. No, I'm good, I'm good, though. Okay, sounds good. Spider-Man! <laughs> Side note. This is a 37-year-old man. The Hulk is no longer here. Big sad. He left in October. What the heck? Big sad. Oh, God, he's there alone. Oh, like, I, dude, I feel like I wouldn't enjoy that. Like, if I'm going, like, yo, have y'all ever been to, like, Six Flags alone? I feel like that would fucking suck. And people are going to look at you. And, like, yo, if you don't care, good shit on you, man. But, like, if I went to, like, Six Flags alone and then you're sitting a solo ride, people are going to be staring at you like, dude, what the fuck? Number one, you're fucking up the seat configuration. Because now people have to, like, sit next to you because you're a rando. Right? Rather than, like, a 2-2. Two -two. It's always, like, four or, like, two, right? Now you're one, and then they're going to have to shove another one. Ugh. It's like, dude, one day, one day my friends wanted to go to Six Flags, and four of them were going, and they were like, dude, come on, come, man. You'll be the fifth. And then I was like, I was thinking about it. I was like, no, because then I'll be the guy that has to sit alone on that one seat, right? I'll be the dude. Why are people saying, hey, yo, chat? You know, oh, my God. Stop acting like everything you say fucking sucks. Just fucking pay attention to the goddamn story, chat. Because if it's 2-2-1 two, two, or it's 4-1 or even if it's 3-2, it's still bad, right? Aiden for the three, so I didn't go. You really made my day make me laugh a ton and your streams really make me happy. Uh, but my drunk dad just smashed my whole gaming setup after yelling at me. Really? He broke your entire gaming setup? Jackson for the sub. I'm sorry to hear that, man. <laughs> Are you playing Last of Us Part 2? Probably not. Nah. First game I'm going to play on the PS5 is the new Spider-Man. Over. I'm, I'm fast-forwarding. He's just watching this man in slow-mo. I'm getting unusual pre-flight readings. No. The testing postponed. No. Proceed to ground level. Shut the fuck up, dude. No. Spider-Man. Stop. Come on, baby. The most fucking annoying guy. No one else is like screaming. We did it. Stark! Oh my god! Stark! Tony Stark. Well, kind of forever, baby. The way he said that, it, it could, it definitely could come across like a, uh, like a cat call, couldn't it? God damn! Well, kind of forever, baby. Fuck! Holy shit! Woo! Damn! Wakanda forever, baby! God damn! Hey, why don't you look at this panther right here, bitch? Hey! Look at me! I got the GD Plus Pass! Ow! Was, that was not part of the plan! Oh, uh, God, that's such a bad rocket, too. Like, you can't really make rocket look normal. Like, he looks like chubby. See, the animatronic's dope. Oh, oh my God! Oh, my God! All the kids on the ride are like... No, but the Disney workers, too, are such fucking stooges, man. I remember going on the Tower of Terror when I was a freshman, and everybody did this for the photo. And they they stopped the ride right before it dropped, lowered it, and then kicked us off. Like, swear to God. Kicked us off the ride. Like, they were like, no. No. We're not doing this. And then they were, like, adamantly apologizing to the families that were on with us. I was like, dude, really? I was like, I'm not allowed to fucking put the shirt over my head for the fucking photo. Like, it's that serious. Gamora! Gamora, say my name! Would you look at this? Oh, my God. General construction. Look at all these people working love, regular jobs, love, and I get to be on vacation. God, they're gross. Look at this old guard here. To get in, oh, God. That. Oh, oh fuck! Let's <laughs> it looks see. like he's and getting right now. Down. Henry. Wow, man, <laughs> that that was honestly an adventure. I but there is one part of the video where he has like groundbreaking news. Like he stops the vlog entirely and he talks about like how he was wronged or something. <laughs> I mean, we have to see what it is, right? This is five months ago. Surely there's an update on it. Damn, dude, he uploads a lot. Holy shit, he uploads daily. God damn, dude, he he lost his house. What?
Today's the story on how I lost my house in quite literally the final stage you could ever lose a house. I don't give a shit. I just want to see the- What? Oh my god! What happens when you celebrate a century of the most mad- <laughs> He said- I'm gonna lose my house. No, I don't give a fuck. I just wanted to see what it was. Magical company on Earth. <laughs> it's the most magical today. company on Earth. It's, it's not just the Disney parks. It's everything. Is this train station from a movie? It's not. I'm almost positive Michael Jackson has this exact same train station at his house. I just watched that documentary, Leaving Neverland, whatever. The I'm almost positive that he has that exact train station. Degrees. I wonder if they have John Landis in there and him giving his 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 coveted hugs, him trying to like squeeze girls' asses and stuff while while working on cars. John Lassender's uh, first Hawaiian T-shirt. Whoa. <laughs> They just have it in a fucking case. Thing here at That's a fucking horrifying dumpy or where the fuck that stupid ass elephant's called. Oh my god. Look, it's Mickey in his new outfit. Holy cow. Good old oh. Mick. Happy 100th, Mickey. Dude, and you already know, like, do you think the person in there is having a good time? I think, like, the people that work at Disney are either, like, this person's such an adamant Disney fan or they fucking hate their life. Didn't expect to see that right away, but we also got Ian for the 10 gifted. Thank you for the 10 gifted. EOW Crim. I appreciate the subs, man. Thank you. Uh, thank them if you got a sub. Thank you for the fucking 10 gifted, Ian. Uh, prestige for the three. Uh, you still have not taken ramp channel for redemption out. I know. Aiden for the three. Uh, and Ian, thank you for the 10 gifted, bro. What do you mean? You're in Disneyland. You're by the entrance of Disney World. Why would you not think that Mickey Mouse wouldn't fucking be there? Good old Mick. Mick, say my name. The guy inside's like, dude, can you just please leave me alone? Your new platinum suit's so sick, Mick. All right, I'll catch you next time. God, good guy. Good guy, man. Chip and Dale are just wandering. They're coming to us. <laughs> what else would they be doing, dude? Oh, my God. Chip and oh my God. Chip and Dale's are walking. Oh, my God. How do we know that statue isn't 3D printed? Guys, I'm wondering actually some conspiracy stuff is this 3d printed or is this real i don't know no fucking way he went to disney to do this <laughs> you gotta let me know comment down below you guys opinions Tell oh my gosh i'm getting, I'm getting chills i can officially uh, guys, is this, uh, is this actually, uh, like, formulated out of metal, or is this just, some uh, some sort of plastic 3D print? Actually buy things. Okay, I'm ready. Ear to ear grin right now, guys. Envision one century. God damn, it's so loud. Oh my god, dude, and the people that fucking, like, are in awe at the fucking, at, I don't even know if this is, this looks like Magic Kingdom, unless this is Disneyland. Uh, but at Disney World, at Magic Kingdom, everybody was just in awe at all the fucking buildings. I remember I had a tour. At one point, and they were like, uh, little fun fact, uh, all the flags, all the American flags here on Front Street actually aren't American flags. They either have one more star, one less star, one more stripe, or one less stripe because you're legally not allowed to fly them like that. And I said, oh, whoopee fucking do, dude. How cool is that? Wow. The fucking flags aren't real American flags, bro. Wow, they have one more star. It's like I can barely fucking see the thing because it's fucking 45 feet in the air and the flag's about this fucking big. Somebody redeemed Dan. Okay, chat. Dilly for the sub. Ghost for the three. Can you do an influencer boxing with KSI? Not against them, just boxing. Don't know, man. I've never been offered to do a boxing match outside of Rough and Rowdy and they wanted to pay me like nothing. Envision. God damn, it's so loud. Imagine you're just like walking around all day and it's just like this. Walt Disney is God. You are his lamb. Now, go into any given store and consume products as soon as you possibly can. If you think something is 3D printed... Oh, see, now this is Disneyland because the, the castle sucks. You will get shot in the face. Have a magical day. You crying? Are you crying? Are you fucking crying? Go to the fucking bathroom and clean yourself up, you you stupid- Audio jungle. Get your fucking ass- If anybody is seen crying on the front lot by the gate, you will be asked to leave. What the fuck did I just say? Just get, get in there! Go! Happy, Happy 100! 100! Happy 100! Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I like- Why do you put the camera- Why would you leave the him putting his camera down? Look how angry he looks right here. So as he's putting it down- <laughs> As he's putting it down, he's just like- why the fuck would you fuck up the shot like that? Like you were overpowering my voice. Honestly, dude, what the fuck were you thinking? <laughs> it's like all the cameras all the way down there.
Somebody redeem dog treat? Refund it, bro. We're near the end of stream. You gotta redeem that shit earlier. That poor fucking horse, dude. How magical. They get to have that horse well, walk Well, actually, up. we're doing the scary videos after this. Bricks. Still. All day for 12 hours. That's really fun. A hundred more years, please! Yeah! Ashley, she watches the vlogs. Yes, I do. <laughs> Thank you so much. And she actually has both. And I'm convincing her to give me them right now. Right, Ashley? He's holding the camera up to her face. Right, Ashley? You're going to give me that right now, right? So I don't have to wait in line. Ashley, right? Fucking give me it. No pressure at all, but you watch my stuff, right? So you time to pay back, right? This amazing Mickey sipper. Oh, wow. That's and awesome. This tumbler right You mind if I touch all of this, I Ashley? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, Thanks. Yeah. Of course. We <laughs> Can I get a goodbye kiss, Ashley? My girlfriend is Stop. No, Ashley, could you, could, would you mind giving me a good, goodbye kiss? Right on my cheek. Please, Ashley, this is all I have. We got to thank Walt. We wouldn't be here without him. And there's God. Oh, my God. Dude, no, but uh, wh wait, hold up. Yo, what's up? I'm on stream. Yeah, same. I just, uh, <clears throat> so someone from Yoke Chat comes to my chat and they said, yo, Joe, Joe is watching your stream, or, or Joe is watching one of your videos. And I was like, oh, shit, like, I, want, I wonder which one. I go to your stream. It's a it's a fucking meat canyon video, bro. Can you, can you believe it? Meat canyon. Yeah. Today. Meat canyon right there. No, this is Papa Meat. No, Meat Canyon. Wait, is Papa okay. Meat and Meat Canyon the same person? No, Meat Canyon's like yes. the animated videos. Yeah, but like, it, but like, it's owned by him though. Like, oh, it's, it's the, the same person. person. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do I do I love Meat Canyon? Be honest. Uh, chat, does JoJo look like Papa Meat? No. Your hair, yeah. Okay. That's all. I don't think so, but... Okay, thank you, Joe. I just, I, like, like, I literally just wanted to call and ask if, if, if I look like this guy. And, and I appreciate you for, for, for reassuring me. Thank you, bro. Love no problem, you, bro. man. Bye, right, bro. All right, I'll see you, man. <laughs> Everybody's saying yes. Dude, he doesn't look like him. Quick. <laughs> That's definitely the uh, creepiest possible way you could have said that. I spy Mickey. God, I've missed you. Jesus Christ, I've missed you so much, Mickey. Dude, there's no way my fat ass is fitting in any of these fucking roller coasters. Let's go, baby! Oh, whoa. Oh, ha. This is so worth the three hour wait. Ah, ah. All right, it's over. Let's go. Let's get back in line for three hours. Dude, it's going like two miles an hour because they're fucking kids' rides, dude. Go to fucking Six Flags, go on Nitro, and when you borderline black out on the loop to loop because that G force is so strong that your eyes start rolling behind your fucking head, you're going to be like, damn, bitch, I was on a fucking ride, right? I was on a fucking roller coaster. That shit was an experience. Or when you're on El Toro and that shit's made out of wood and it starts fucking, it starts going like this and you think you're going to fucking fall off or the fucking ride's going to break and you're going 75 miles an hour down a fucking wooden track. You're like, holy shit, this is exhilarating, right? Not this. Ian for the thousand, but he's Dillian Bryan for the sub. Ghost for the three. My bro is struggling to get some words in for content. <laughs> And Spooby for the three. I just want to donate so you gently helped me when I was in a bad place. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, for the fucking uh, donut, dude. And I'm glad I could help. <laughs> oh, my God. It's beautiful. What a sight. <laughs> oh, my God. What a spectacle, honestly. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. This one, this one's a, this is a tougher one to sit through. Welcome fucking, this looks boring as fuck. Dude. Hello. Hello. This mic won't stay hey, still. Thank you. Jesus Christ, this whole experience is just so exhausting, dude. That's There's no way in hell. I don't think I'm going now. I don't think I got it in me. <laughs> so ass. Got a ramp. All right, that was that was a good that was a good cut. Here's the exit. Here's the exit. Got a ramp for a wheelchair. 
the chair. All right, he, all right, he won me over. He won me over there. I got, I got one over. All right, I think, that, I think that's about the last one I can do though. Jesus Christ, dude. That first one was pretty funny though. I'm not gonna lie, the first one got me pretty good. I really wish that I had a uh, Henry Johnson fucking sponsorship so I could get a sweet hotel, dude. If I do end up going to Disney World, I'll be sure to let you guys know what day. So maybe you guys can also dress up like uh, Disney fanatics and we, I'll, I'll just film random people. I only want to go now just so I, just so to see if I can uh, embarrass the fuck out of Noel. Editorial note update. After recording this video and editing it, it so happened that I was going to LA for some work and I took one of those days after watching this video to go to Disneyland in Anaheim. I just wanted to put this out there real quick that I've, you know, I'm, I, I can admit when I'm wrong. Disneyland was very fun. Granted, the lines are very long. I did have to fucking donate plasma to afford the Genie Plus pass to like really schedule what lines I needed to skip. And then you have to schedule the rides. That's just what I hate. Like the fast pass. It, like the whole thing it's like yeah it's on your phone or whatever but you have to like individually schedule things whereas like if you have a fast pass of six flags like you literally just input that shit the second you end on another ride and it just like fast forwards your wait time right but the fast pass there's like a limited usage and you only can have certain ones queued for certain times oh it's such a pain in the ass uh all right now we're on to the scary videos chat don't hit send lock in here chat we got three videos. It's fine. Yeah, Kevin will be back Saturday, and until then, I'm just slowly unpacking boxes. <laughs> no, I didn't ask my girlfriends to come spend the night. What do you think, we're 12? <laughs> Plus, everyone has work anyway, so... <laughs> what do you mean, you just want me to send you a picture of an empty room with boxes? I mean, nothing's set up yet. <laughs> All right. Yes, fine. Yeah, I'll I'll send it when we hang up, okay? All right, love you too. Bye. Stop, Joe. I'm scared. You're already scared, bro. Nothing's happened yet. gonna be somebody standing there. Bro, look at the fucking picture. I would genuinely shit myself. If I took a photo of an empty room and some weird sl naked Slenderman looking figure was standing there. It's gonna be, it's gonna be right next to her. It's gonna be right next to her, bro, stop. Oh! God, hide under the bed, get out of the fucking house. What is this dumbass play? I'm, I'm diving out of the window. Fucking hide. She got a gun. Oh, it's going to be behind her. gonna be behind her bro or right next to her somewhere not in the door frame oh fuck no 
Oh no, stop. Stop. Yeah, I'm okay leaving now. Oh, you're fucking joking, dude. I'm gonna say I'm sketching right now. Stop, it's pulling the sheets. Stop, it's pulling the sheets. It's pulling the fucking sheets. How's it not over? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Here it is. Come on. His arms. I'm trying. It's the Ghostbusters. His life. Bust. Time to go. Time to go. Bound that thing up. It's your fire. Roll time. Roll time. Roll time. Roll time. Roll all right, is their name Demon Molesters? Demon Molesters Express. Roll time! Roll time! Roll time! Woo! Oh, yeah! Woo! Oh, yeah! Yeah! That is Come the on. sexiest demon ass I've seen on Damn right. Damn right. Hell yeah. You hear that shit? Piece of shit garbage. He's fucking hot, though. I gotta make it. Yeah. Get in here, pal! Get in here. The sexy bench ain't even ready. God dang it, I thought he was right behind us. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Excuse my manners. Where are they? My name is uh, Dale. I didn't introduce myself. This is my brother, Blake. Nice to meet you, ma'am. No. Okay, Dale, can you please explain what is happening? What is that thing? That right there would be a demon. We've been uh, tracking it all night. Sorry we couldn't get here until it almost ate your face, but catching these fuckers are a little tricky. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say. I'll say. <laughs> yeah. Damn right. Sexy bastard. Okay, oh, what yeah. do you mean by... Are they, like, attracted to the demon? Demon. A sex, sexy monster. That thing. Oh, yeah. So oh. Oh. Oh, about time, Kyle. What the hell? There you go, Kyle. Go ahead. Get over there. Get over there. Oh, what the fuck? Nice. Bring in the sexy bench. What in God's creation? There you go. And lock the wheels this time. One good thrust from me, that thing's gonna be out in the yard running away. Woo! I'm gonna be stuck in here with blue ball. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, by demon we Oh my we god, mean... are they gonna fuck the demon? Hold up, I gotta fucking... Um, anyway, by demon... Are they gonna fuck the demon? Okay, no, it looks fine. Demon, we mean... That. Okay, and... You're gonna get rid of it? We sure are. 30 minutes of professional time? Yo! Hold up. Duh. Listen, you can't just kill a demon. You can destroy its current physical manifestation, right. but there is no guarantee that it won't come back. In fact, that son of a bitch might come back even more angry. Oh my fucking God, bro. It's not showing it, but it's like, it's borderline showing it, dude. Is this TOS? No. Um, if you were terrified by the demon alone, then trust me, you don't want to know. It is sexual in nature. Okay. You see, a demon gets its energy from fear, right. hate, terror, the bad things in the world. Mm -hmm. But what destroys it is the opposite of that, kind of like a, a love or eroticism. Sexual, you know, gratification. Right. Stop! Oh my God! It's not even age restricted, though. It should be fine. 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 Or in it? Yeah, yeah, it do. Yeah, it do. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, you do seem to be professionals. I mean, look at your jumpsuits. I am. Uh, now I gotta Google it. Let's go over the community guidelines here. Nudity. It should be fine. Because it's technically not nudity or sexual content because there's nothing sexual that's occurring. It's just showing something that could or could not be.
I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I'm guessing that you don't do this for free then? Uh, no, ma'am. I mean, work is pleasure and pleasure is work, but uh, we are up front with our... Here you go. Um, okay. It's not real, it's not TOS, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's, uh, it's a bit steep. Well, ma'am, you are dealing with a demon here. I know you might have no experience in that, probably, but it is from a different plane of existence. Now, we can give you just the stripped-down basic deal, where uh, we give it a spanking and <laughs> hope it doesn't come back, but 90% uh, of the time, it will come back and it will be a lot better. But the full package will guarantee that it doesn't come back? Uh, uh, more than. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, double. I mean, listen here. These are trade secrets passed down from generation to generation by our great-great-grandpappy. And not one time in 80 years of giving it the family special yeah. have we had a demon return on us. So you don't got to worry, sweet little thing. 80 years. Yeah, I'll... I'll take that one. Ma'am, you will not be disappointed. Right. This is a money back guarantee. Well, no, no. Guys, 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 yeah. guys, I got it. Oh my God. Yeah. This standard size? It's just not. What the is that? Right, Look what? at how long that guy's teeth are. <laughs> so, so the bit bigger one. Then. Yes, the bigger one. Even with the bigger one, we're going to have to bust all of its teeth out if we're all going to fit in there, especially at the same time. Damn. All right. Go get it from the truck. Damn. He wants to get our dicks chomped off? I know. I don't, I'm sorry, ma'am. That's our intern. He's new. I just, this is, uh, this is uh, the mouse spreader that they were looking for in there. Uh, you see that he, the demon in there, he's got these these huge teeth. He uses it to rip people's faces off, claw them off, dismember them, rip them apart. He, he prob probably would have done that to you if, 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 if we hadn't shown up. But, but instead, now, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna put our penises inside the demon's mouth hole. We're gonna have sex with the demon's face. And with this thing here, you see, it goes inside the mouth and it, you can't. It won't. It won't even be able to chop their chop their penises off and make a mess in your bedroom. With the standard size of of the mouse spreader, he would the demon would have been able to bite their penises off and shoot blood all, just all all over your bedroom. It it, it would have been a real mess. Well, this way, man, we can do our jobs and and keep a mess t to a minimum, smooth sailing. You you know, as we say, as a family business business, we like to keep things clean. Well, I'm not part of the the family yet. But they let me. One day I will be. Uh, well, anyways, bye, ma'am. I'll see you, ma'am. We'll be down in just a little bit. It'll be over. We'll, we'll come get you. That was the weirdest video I've ever seen. That was the weirdest video I've ever seen. The weirdest, scarier video I've ever seen, bro. That was fucking insane, dude. What even was that? Dude, I don't know. It started out scary as shit, and then these guys were like, yeah, we're just gonna fuck the demon, and it will die. What the fuck? <sighs> that is crazy. Draft for the five. What do you think about speed situation? We already talked about it. Uh, Mez for the three. Tell me why they beat the shit out of the demon. It reminds me of the smiling friends killing the demon. Reco, uh, face for the sub. Reco for the thousand. Betty's booby for the three. Uh, Brian for the sub. Ghost for the three. I already read that. Uh, and T. Vaco for the thousand. Betty's. I beg you with the pride and power of my ancestors to watch a sick minute video of uh, Vosberg at the end of stream. No. Another day, maybe. Not today, though.
moral of the speed situation wear better pants yeah wear wear pants is the wear pants scp dollhouse If anything pops off, we're going to have a hard time telling people it was a gas leak. Depends on what happens. Powers, what's the pull at now? Save it, Coleman. You had your chance. I wasn't talking to you, O'Neill. Powers, when's the betting close? You can get out of the car. You gonna call it? Depends on the pool. People who are SCP fans are weird. What is SCP, though? Is this just like a different... <sighs> what is SCP? Special containment procedures. Okay, so it's just about, like, different monsters. Fletcher. 250. Given the intel, cognito hazard. That's my final answer. Done. Hell yeah! Always wanted to take your fucking money. Ready up! Let's get it, boys. Payload 01 to talk. We fast vector moving to the target building over. Fucking drone in the air, too? It's like Call of Duty Ghosts. It's Jake for the sub. It is so quiet, it's fucking crazy. What are they looking for? One of the monsters. Shoot it. Are you posting today on TikTok or YouTube? TikTok, yeah, I already posted once. YouTube, uh, no, it's Thursday. Tomorrow I am. SCP could be anything, so they don't even know what they're looking for. The fuck? Talk, this is payload 01. Building secure. Moving to SSE. Over. 02 and 3. On me. Or some shit's we'll just gonna jump floor. out and kill them. Time to go look for nothing. Come on, Coleman. Foundation's gotta know what kind of porn Middle America's got stashed in their closet. Sick. 
appears a mess. Nothing's working right. I think it's got the clap. Any intel? The densest part of this hard drive is the directory for a program called Java. It's software that's been running since before we got here. Looks just as fucked as the rest of this machine. It keeps crashing, hitching, and rebooting. What's the program do? I don't know, it just spits out code. All gibberish. Subject 1025. It's a woman. Do you guys personally know any shrinks? Are you asking because it's related to the mission, or are you just curious? A female occupant. Any idea why this is here? If she's living with this shrink, possibly in a relationship. Why is he bringing his work home with him? I don't know. I'm not a shrink. Didn't your friends in Langley do her background? Yeah, none of this came up. How the fuck does she get institutionalized and allow that go on record? You see that? She was in for a year. What do people think? She just went for a long walk? If Langley missed that, how much else don't we know? Yeah, it's very spooky, but it's not the kind of anomaly we're after. Keep looking. Didn't they clear the house? What the fuck are they worried about? Hey, TL, can you come here for a sec? Oh, God. What is it? Anybody else been in the living room since we came up here? No. Okay, so who moved out all the furniture? Hey! Stop Holy right there! Shit. This is zero one. We spotted suspect two moving to apprehend. Over. Oh my god, she's not gonna be there. Oh god. This is zero one. Lost contact with suspect two. Searching the area. Over. What was that? Enuk for the sub C, uh, SCA for the 300 bitties. Is there a hidden door or some bullshit? I like a challenge. West, get up here right oh now. My god, now I'm fucking itching. Stop! Where is it? Couldn't have gone too far. You find anything down there? Nothing concrete. What happened up here? Suspect 2 walked into this room from the other door. We went after her, but didn't find anything. TL, you're gonna need to see this. Got something? Come here, check this out, all of you. They got night vision goggles on and shit. Joe, you lost 400 viewers? I don't care. Fuck me. Doc, this is payload 01. We've passed trigger. Area appears to have non-Euclidean geometry that extends the house to an unknown degree. Moving in to reconnoiter the new area. Over. Roger 01. Status on suspect 2. Over. Suspect's location is unknown at this time. Over. Somebody said L, Joe. Yo, have fun never talking to my chat again, man. See you later. Like, I'm not even... What do you mean, L. Joe? They left because they don't want to watch the fucking scary videos. That's fine. Zach for the sub. Uh, proceed with the recon mission. If you feel as if the AO is too large for you to fully explore, get you and your men out of there. Over. Understood. Zero one out. All streamers lose viewers as the stream goes on? Yeah, I mean, near the end of stream, yeah. Any luck? Nope. Just a lot of shit I don't understand. Right, he just keeps going through the same fucking four files every time. Something you'd be behind him. Oh, stop. And her password. Camel skin? Neil, you know anything about the word Cardoon? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, don't tell me some uh, some bitch got to crawl out of the TV. Shoot the TV. Shoot the TV. Affiliations are still unknown at this time. It's likely to assume they are not the attackers from two days ago. If it is indeed a raid, then the methods employed don't line up or compare to the MO of the previous attackers. It is, however, possible that they may be connected through an anonymous tip between the two groups. A mutual benefit that would imply can only be speculated. Wait. Something's not right. Stay frosty. Yo, and for the five gifteds. Thank you, Ant, for the five gifted subs. Thank them if you've got a sub. Thank you for the five gifts. It's Long Meatball for the sub, Zach. Uh, and Ant for the sub again. SEA for the three. Enuk and it's Jake for the sub. Holy shit, bro. I was talking to you. Point your gun at the fucking weird hole in the wall. Fucking shine a flashlight in it. What the fuck is this strategy? Turn the lights on. Oh, the fuck, clock my nerve just turned off. <gasps> Mine too. I can't see shit. <gasps> Coleman, you see something? Shoot it! <laughs> Holy fuck! Coleman, you good? Yeah. What the fuck was that? Sir, we need to go right now. Talk, this is Payload Zero One. We have a threat in the building. Current weapons possibly insufficient. Permission to clear out. Over. Roger that. Zero One out. Fuck this house. Wes, let's go. You gotta be kidding me. Tom, this is 0106 is down. I repeat, 06 is down. Possibly KIA, over. What should we do? Nothing we can do. We need to move. What happened to him? his fucking head understandable all right well bro just got a neck have a good night you too goodbye target is no longer present tried to raise you guys earlier what happened to west he's gone what how Dude got fucking vaporized or something. Did you see anything else while you were in there? Anything that might point to what we're dealing with? I don't even know how to describe it. It was almost like a broken video game. Everything was glitching out, even the suspects. Any clues on your end? Just speculation. I think, this is just a guess, I think what you've seen here is connected to this computer. These glitches appearing may coincide with a lot of what I've seen on this machine. I think it's affecting everything in the area. I don't really know how or why, but like I said, it's my best guess right now. So, theoretically, if you're right, then if we take that shit with us, it could possibly begin to affect things outside of the house? That's assuming it isn't already doing that. Could it spread across this whole block for all we know? So do we leave the laptop here? Well, that's a very good question. Why don't we just hit the power switch? Why don't you just fucking smash the laptop with a fucking mallet and call it a day? Oh, well, the thing on the laptop seems to be fucking, uh, messing everything up. Whack! And then you fucking leave. No, we don't know what will happen once it's off. 
Yeah, I don't want to be part of that experiment. Oh, would it, like, release it? Like, right now, it's trapped in the do. laptop. I can stay here while you guys return to the vehicle. I'll copy the important files over to a secure drive and then shut everything down. Oh, Make yeah, sure. what a great idea. Let's leave him alone. Not that, Fletcher. I'm sure. I'll stay, too. If you go down, I can finish the job. Try to make it quick. Let's move out. Good luck, boys. gonna die there's no way he fucking doesn't so much for that bet come on o'neill nobody's ever won that yeah i always wanted to see a ghost though fuck my nods are no good you almost done he's gonna be yeah playing. we're good let's go Fucking way, bro. Did he live, bro? That was a good ass video. All right, next one. The oldest view beneath the earth. This is a fucking cane pixels video. I think this is back rooms video. Trouble for the sub. Also, chat, if you have any videos you want me to react to, exclamation point Discord, mods, pin the Discord link. I'll do this now instead of in the outro. Uh, join the Discord, send videos to me, react to against me to play in the video suggestion tab, game suggestion tab. Uh, if you have any scary videos, regular videos, fucking philosophy videos uh, that you want me to react to, send them in the vi video suggestion tab. Uh, and any games in the game suggestion tab. I'm not going to watch all of them, obviously, but it does help to have chat recommendations. That's how I find a lot of the videos, including the one that we just watched. <sighs> all right, next video. What's up guys, Wyatt here. I hope you're all having a great day. I know I am because today I've got something really cool to show you that I found. Um, I'm currently on my way to, uh, I shouldn't say the name of the park, I don't want to, just because the spot I'm taking you to is technically uh, in pretty far into private property. Um, not a, not gonna get into that, not gonna worry about it, but uh, generally trespassing, not good. <laughs> don't don't trespass. Um, uh, I'll probably be fine, but don't trespass unless, unless you found a really cool secret tunnel in the woods that you want to check out and show to your internet buddies. In that case, I think it's fair game. So from that, you might be able to deduce what I'm planning on showing you guys today. So stay tuned. Weird how this is starting out so happy. All right, it's super windy right now, so I, I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, I've been walking for like an hour, 45 minutes, and I got turned around a little bit back there, but I think this is the spot. All right, I gotta get a little further. Okay, yes, this is it. So, here is the hole. <gasps> Show that in a moment. Uh, inconspicuous, tiny little hole in the ground. Honestly, just like a little cave or something. Uh, I don't know. I mean, that's what I thought it was the first time that I saw this the other day. Uh, I mean, it's out literally in the middle of nowhere under this big oak. But if you actually take a look down inside, there are stairs down there. I'm not going down there. Oh my 
my noticed God. this before. Uh, last time I was here, because I was in a rush. Or at least bring someone with you. A lot darker out, but... Fucking alone? Like, these stairs used to go up further, if that makes sense. And what I find really weird is that all the lights... All these, there are, these lights are on. So that tells me that they're still something active here. And... But then the entrance is so... So low tech, is that a... It's just fucking strange. Kinda just looks like someone's going up but got the coffin buried. Oh my god. I don't want to talk too much, just... I can't really anticipate. If anyone's going to be around here. In all honesty, I think it would be like a drug ring. If I saw this in real life, I would think that it was like a stairway to like a drug lab. Trouble for the sub. And I think if I went down there, they'd shoot me. I, I, I don't hear anyone, but the lights are on and I have no clue what I'm stepping into. Dude, it looks like it never ends. Is there a bottom? When I was here on Wednesday, this, I think, was about as far as I got. I haven't gone any further than this. I sort of chickened out and ran back up to go home and get some more space to record my phone since I was really low. I'm getting ready to go. Oh, there is a bottom. Yo, I'd be tiptoeing, bro. I'd be so scared somebody would be down there. Stop, dude. I'm so worried something's going to jump out. Oh, don't tell me it's more fucking stairs. Now there's like windows. I'm not even sure what to say. This is so fucked. This go. When you get the diamond level and start branching, it does look like a strip mine in Minecraft. I feel like one of these is gonna be a, a hallway or a room or something. Because what else? What, are, what, what is the purpose of these things? Oh, why is it so dark right there? One thing. One thing I really can't wrap my head around is that it has been raining for like the past uh, like two or three weeks. Yet I don't I don't see any water down here. It's completely dry as a desert. So I guess that could be because this is the entrance is at the top of a hill, or the entrance I saw was at the top of a hill, and. Why is he going I down? Think, no. Curiosity. I mean, what, what do you want to know what's water, down there? So. <laughs> if I got halfway, bro, I'd be like, I gotta keep going. See what the fuck it I is. Say it's starting to get pretty cool down here, though. Yeah, he's gotta be really far underground now. It looks like it just stops. I'm not going into that. No I more fucking lights. Scaring away. Is it? See a little something shining. Just 
realize I'm gonna have to walk back up all these stairs. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna make it back up the stairs, buddy. I think you're gonna get fucking okay. murdered. Does he got a flashlight? Oh, he's just going into the fucking darkness. And further right now, I'm starting to realize that this is a really stupid idea. But hey, I chose natural selection, right? Smelling like a uh, like cut grass. This reminds me of that Minecraft Enderman chase scene, and I feel like it's gonna end with that chase. <sighs> what the fuck was that damage, my guy? Oh! You bitch. Oh, shit. Like, I feel like he's gonna end up getting fucking trapped by some weird thing that's gonna chase him. Yeah, uh, mow the lawn. It's really good after. That's the, uh, the chlorophyll, right? Oh, there looks like there's an end. Stairs starting to loop really weirdly. Oh, it's a fucking door. Stop. Is it a door? Stop. Dude, this is literally the barbarian movie. This could be a fucking naked seven foot incest monster on the other side. Oh, God. gonna open the door like a fucking idiot. I mean, you got it at this point. Oh my god, is that blood? Is that blood? Is that blood? It looks like a bathroom. Jesus. Oh, it's another door. It's a shower drain? Oh, they fucking kill people here. That's gonna shut on them. Yo, don't let the door shut, bro. You're gonna be so fucked. Keep going. The second I hear music, I'm out. The second I hear music, I'm running and I'm calling the fucking police and I'm going to say, come look at this shit. No. Going in. I am not supposed to be here. Desks. like a weird store. <sighs> he 
Is it a mall? Oh my god. Stop. Stop. I'm not even sure if I can push this on you too. <laughs> it's literally just a ball. <laughs> what the fuck? That's it! Oh, is there a fucking continuation of that shit? Oh, you're fucking joking. Bro, he hasn't posted a new video. Yo, when the new one comes out, somebody gotta fucking tell me. Somebody gotta fucking tell me. That shit was crazy. All right. Madsen for the sub. Chat, that was a W stream. Corey for the sub, Jake for the three. He's the random zombie that wanders around the strip mine. Step in Dr. Pixel, dude, for the sub MRP, or MRM for the sub. All right. That was a W stream. Chat, join the Discord. I already fucking shouted that shit out. Uh, send videos to the video suggestion tab, game suggestion tab. Uh, we had a great chat, great audience today. A lot of subs, a lot of bits, a lot of donuts, a lot of follows. I appreciate everybody that fucking popped out. Uh, and I hope to catch you all to, uh, tomorrow at 2 p.m. EST. I'm going to be doing a VR stream with JoJo Zussi and maybe one other person. Uh, Saturday, I'll be in the MC Block Wars Rookies Tournament, which will be really fun. It'll be a bunch of streamers in the MC Tournament. Uh, I don't know how long it'll be. If we have time, we'll watch the new Mr. Beast video that comes out, uh, that Saturday. If not, we'll just watch it Sunday during the React Day, in which we're gonna watch a bunch of my old TikToks and probably cringe, uh, the entire time, uh, from 2019 to 2021. And then, uh, just a regular React Day on that Sunday. Monday! Uh, I'll be live at 2, uh, again, doing, uh, solo VR day, and we're gonna be doing our drink, uh, sp uh, new drink partnership announcement that day as well. Uh, next Tuesday, I'll be live doing the celebrity alcohol game, uh, where I guess which celebrity alcohol, blah, 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 all this other shit. Brooke's gonna be helping me with that. Uh, next Wednesday, I'll be continuing FNAF Security Breach. Next Thursday will be the Make-A-Wish charity stream with, uh, The Expanse Episode 3, Fortnite. Um, and what else? Maybe an unbanned stream that Thursday as well. And then that Friday, uh, the 25th to the 28th, I'll probably be gone. Uh, and the 29th, I'll be back to continue our streaming endeavors. But I will be doing the 4.30 p.m. EST weekday schedule starting the 29th. Um, and still 2 p.m. EST on weekends. Uh, but yeah, capped it for the three. I hope everybody had fun watching, had a fun time streaming, and I hope to catch you on future streams. Who do y'all want to raid today, chat? We could raid, uh, we could raid, uh, Chris Udala. Raid Chris Udala. Somebody said Zussi. I don't think Zussi's live. And somebody said fucking, uh, Queso. Queso's also not live. But yeah, we'll raid, um,. We'll raid Chris Udala. But yeah, hope y'all had fun watching the stream. I had a full time streaming. I hope to catch y'all in future streams, by the way. Uh, and yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow, 2 p.m. EST for some VR games. Uh, and I'll catch y'all later. We're going to raid in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. See y'all tomorrow.